Very good. Isn't that horrid. All right, Angela. See you guys. Thank you. Hi, Angela. You you turn people off with that voice. Maybe that's chased men away. All right. Well, you know what? Why do we bother with these people? I don't know. We're trying to get Lady Di to stop drinking. We're trying to get uh, Stalker Patty to have some uh, sex. I want We're to failure. Yeah, for somebody Total. to care about. Oh, shut up. Just admit you're never going to know that intimacy. Just Save admit it, it for someone you care about. You know who's going to get you? The mortician. <laughs> when you're laid out on a slab... Completely that's against the, your will, you will your body true. will be cold and frigid, oh. and some sick mortician's gonna go. You know, why not? <laughs> why not? And there you'll be, getting violated in your death. And then him and his friends will practice jujitsu on your body <laughs> and send you to heaven as a sinner and a whore. <laughs> <laughs> How great would that be if she went to hell because of what happened after she died? Afterwards. Oh, that'd be perfect. <laughs> I didn't do anything, Satan. I was good my whole life. I didn't touch a man or nothing. Yeah, but look, uh, let me show you the videotape of what happened uh, up there on the slab. <laughs> you see now when... No, the third gentleman. Yeah, the black guy. When he comes in... <laughs> Why are they turning me on my face? Why are they? I didn't think the embalming procedure entailed flipping me over. Hey, Colin Quinn, everybody. It's Colin. Colin's good friends with Patty. Colin actually had Patty do a couple of sketches on yeah. Tough Crowd. Is she going to do the thing yet? I uh, know. We were waiting for you. Yeah. That was the worst intervention anyone's ever done. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. with Lady Di? Get on Lady Di intervention. Wasn't that horrible? That was awful. Patty had the most sensible advice of anybody. Yeah, get on mic there, uh, Colin. You've, you've done a little radio in your oh, time. Yeah. There you go. Isn't oh, it, yeah. Wasn't it just awful advice? We were just abusing her. It was her. so awful. And I don't like Norton's Dutch uncle tough love attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Patty's the only one that said you got to follow the rules when you go in there, right? She called it rehabilitation, though. Nobody oh, called on. it Leave rehabilitation. Her alone. Changes. Rehab. I was catching the Metropolitans game last night. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's the deal. Colin Quinn in studio, Dr. Ian Smith in studio. Stalker Patty, after the break, is going to try out our mousetrap thing because we're going to do this tomorrow for tool tickets and cold hard cash and hopefully a, uh, a lot of other prizes. Okay, the whole studio is going to uh, have yeah. mousetraps tomorrow, and Patty's going to try it out to see. By the way, the best thing was how aggravated Opie was getting during the intervention. He wanted to get back to business. He's like, okay, we've spent enough time. All right, on enough with this woman. Oh, she's, she's horrid. You really wanted to smash everybody in the face. There was a time in my life I tried to help people, and then you'd, you'd try no, to help you people. Wanted to kick, you wanted to beat up Anthony and Jim Norton. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> ruining your radio show. Well, the, but, <laughs> no, but people out there can relate. There are people in your lives, and, and you try to help them over and over and over again. And it's like, well, you might as well talk to the wall. Yeah. I, I don't have time for those Cleaner people anymore. It smells better, you too. You know what bothers me? Lady Di, she, I swear to you, Kyle, she looked like you in a wig. <laughs> oh, now that is uncalled for, that's Jimmy. Ugly. That's un uncalled. That's an insult to both of us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I, I, I think Bam's got Lady Di in a car. We're going to check in with them uh, before right. the end of the show. So why don't we take a break? It's the Opie and Anthony program. When we get back, Stalker Patty will be blindfolded, and she's going to be uh, crawling around amongst the mouse traps. There's at least 100 on the floor, yep. and she's going to be searching for fake prizes today. She doesn't get anything she out of She gets nothing. She gets nothing. How is this like the rest of your life, right? Searching <laughs> mouse traps for fake prizes. <laughs> Baby. Uh, great. All right. We'll continue. This is how this thing's going to work in the end, because uh, we're starting from, uh, I don't know, no listeners. Zero. As far as, like, terrestrial radio goes, we're on in, like, nine cities, something like that. Seven I like cities, that. I don't know. We did that at NEW. We had the big purge when we first came on, and then slowly uh, built up a nice uh, nice audience. There you go. Colin Quinn in studio. Yeah, good to have Colin in. Thanks, guys. It's good to be here. Yes. The place is a mess, though, huh? Oh, the place is a madhouse. No, it's I mean, a like... Wreck. There's no walls. There's no ceiling. No. They're going to be uh, taken care of. The is too low. <laughs> Just kidding, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Get to the mousetrap before somebody else comes in for an intervention. You're we missed this one. You're sitting on like a first grader's chair. Could you raise oh, that up? I can't. Sakes. He's like two feet lower no, than like everybody like in the room. It's better. Yeah. yeah. yeah we could, Patty's my ass girl height. Patty is right there. Her butt's looking pretty good. The, that extra weight went to all the right places on Patty. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, let's uh, blindfold her. Doesn't she look like she's wearing Dudley Do Right's pants? <laughs> <laughs> like it's all at the it's, again. it's all at the hips. It's like state trooper pants. <laughs> she's got the 
<laughs> the saddlebags going. I, kinda, I don't know. I like this outfit, actually. Those it's awful like old lady bunion shoes. Those shoes Ooh. are horrendous. Yeah. Well, that's true. The shoes could use a little work for us. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we got to get right into this because we got Edward yeah. Norton calling in in uh, yes. a few minutes here. New Tom, movie, Down in the his, Valley. Make him do his American History X speech that he did to Elliot Gould. Oh, that would rock. Oh, is that brutal? Make him do it. Club Soda Kenny is blindfolding oh, Stalker Patty. By the way, uh, good news. We need more contestants for tomorrow. Uh huh. See, Stalker Patty, if you're just tuning in, we got about 100 mouse traps, courtesy of pestcontrolworld.biz. B I Z. The dot biz. That, I think that's the first person I ever heard that had a dot biz. Pestcontrolworld.biz. Here it is. He How gave you... me the electric mouse traps that work so so well. It's it's unbelievable. I've I've killed uh, I don't know, getting close to 20 kills in my apartment. By the way. Oh, nice. Patty, nice. don't worry. It's Dr. Ian Smith. Everything. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Colin, Patty's so blindfolded, funny. and Colin's taking some liberties <laughs> with her front. <laughs> wow, Dr. Colin. <laughs> yeah. Well, she can't testify if she can't see. <laughs> you know. Who touched you? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> All I did was feel a hand on That's there. great. Let's bring in the lacrosse team. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Patty. Be a trooper. All right. Here's the deal. So Patty's going to try out the mouse traps for us. There's over 100 mouse traps, and there's fake prizes on the floor. Patty gets absolutely nothing for this. She's just trying it out for us. Patty, can you see? No. Steve, punch her in the face. Right. See if she can see. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, we're going to do the same exact thing for real prizes, tool tickets, cold hard cash, and hopefully other prizes, uh, prizes we can find here at uh, Free FM, okay? So, uh, Patty, you're blindfolded. How, how do you feel? Scared. She's scared again. <laughs> all right, get on all fours. And all you fours. Take your shoes off because at one point you have to walk yeah. through there. Yeah, take yeah. Off those get, your, shoes. get those horrid Asian shoes off. Oh, those are the ones like at last minute when you're Christmas shopping. Yeah, Grandma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll get these. Yeah, strawberry, yeah. <laughs> strawberry colored. Horrible. All right. Uh, yeah, lead her over. Perish the thought she falls and cracks her head. Look how slow she's. Oh, and we fixed her hammer toes. Uh, and I don't know what they did. They turned them into like crescent wrench toes because <laughs> they're just as bad. They just look a little different. They really are. And her, her big toenails are lethal. They are more of a danger than the mouse traps. Patty, do you ever clip your toenails? I do, but it when? bothers me when I clip them. Ew. It bothers us when you don't. <laughs> Look at them. It, well, you're blindfolded. I'm sorry. I'm sure you've seen them, though. Yeah. She can see from where. Can she see by looking down? No. They are disgusting. And why is one kind of red? Because are you getting infected? No, I have nail polish on. Nail polish? It, it's I just going through menopause. Yeah. Ago. You have feet like a hawk. She does. She's got talons. <laughs> talons, yeah. Talons. All right, come on. We got to move this along. Get on yeah, all come fours. Come on, Patty. Headfield. Put her on all fours, Headfield. Yeah, get on all fours. Oh, Steve looks like Steve looks like he's getting ready to fight Chuck Liddell next week. All right, this, <laughs> this is what in we good shape, Steve. This is what we want oh, no. Patty to do. By the way, wait. Can I talk? Hold on. I got to talk to the boys. Oh, okay. come here for that. Okay. All right, cool. Here comes the Oh no, this game is. Over. I hope it's not being tampered with. Isn't no. it tough enough? No, I think uh, she has to walk barefoot at one point too, though. They're probably gonna put like electro shocks on it. This is getting psychotic. That would be great if we could just taser her. Well, they actually do have that couple of. Her... All right. No, we're they not gonna have the taser electric you. Ma mousetrap in there. Patty, here's the deal, because we don't want you cheating. We want you to hit the back wall and come back. Yeah, that's what you gotta do. All right. You hot gotta. Girl can't come in tomorrow when the hot girls are doing it naked. Not that you're not hot, Patty, but yeah, the hot girls will be doing it tomorrow for Tool tickets. Uh, guys, if you want to go to Tool, you got to get your wife or girlfriend to come in here tomorrow and do the same thing in, in bra and panties or or nude. We're gonna I'd figure do it that out. Tool uh, time tickets with Tim Allen later on today. <laughs> oh, I wish that show was still on. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be contestant, uh, call us right now eight six six three one three free. There you go. Patty, you got to hit the back this wall. Looks like an Elzar Cowie video, doesn't it? <laughs> yes. she's, her head is wrapped up in a t shirt. Hello. She's on all fours. Hello. Got a Lebanese guy next door. That's close enough. Oh, my God. The American God. imperialists. All right. Uh, <laughs> please, I'm being held hostage. You've got to let the <laughs> criminals go from Guantanamo Bay. Whatever they tell you to do, you have to listen to them. When listen, <laughs> my life is at stake here. They're going to cut my head off. She chisels out of the place with her toenails, escapes in a daring daylight escape. 
Patty. Somebody should do a comic book of Patty. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> Giant tan toenails. <laughs> Patty, you nervous? <laughs> she goes over to Iraq. What? <laughs> Are you nervous? Yeah, I don't want to get hurt. Well, who don't does? Don't blame her. All right, you got to uh, go to the dangerous. back wall and back. Here we go. Do we get glue traps? To the back wall and back. No, go, go slow. Don't rush because oh, you're going to have to... shit. Hey, hey, what? Hey, Patty, hey. hold on. Hold on. Wow. Patty. Wait, 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 Patty. All right, hold on, hold, hold on. on. I'm seeing a couple of problems. First of all, watch your potty mouth. Because in the position you're in, you're on your hands and knees right now. I'll come over there and teach you a lesson. Whoa. The second thing, Patty, is no rubbing your hands on the floor. You must pick your hand up and put it down. That's pick right. your hand up and put it down because you're swatting the mouse traps out of the way, and that's cheating. And here are and, and listen. Who's made for a reason? And listen, oh. and listen to our voices because we'll direct you to the wall. Okay. Up, Patty, up your hand, up and down. You're not gonna get the money up if you cheat. Up and down, I'm right? The fact that it's like fake cheating. Up. <laughs> ah, that was a good one. <laughs> Oh my God. This is not the runner of the lake. This is worse than what they've done at Abu Ghraib. It was okay. Up. Patty, lift your hand up. This is worse than Abu Ghraib. <laughs> this is great. Look, right. someone give a thumbs up while smoking a cigarette. Give her the old Lindy England. <laughs> hand up, hand up. This is one of the most evil things ever. She sounds like a chimp. Yeah. Right on her hand. Yeah, let's listen in. Oh, hey, to your right, Patty, to your right. To your right, to your right, to your right. Patty, you gotta go right. <laughs> she sounds like Mr. Chips. <laughs> yeah, you're just still there. No, that's just psychosomatic. Yeah, but what? Menopause. Oh, no, she put her hand right in that one. You're almost at the wall. You're almost at the wall. A little more to the right. A little more right, or you're gonna hit that electrical uh, thing. That could be fun, but. Oh, you gotta give at least five dollars for this. Is there giving enough? Eh, too fitty. There's actually a prize at the end of it. Is there? Yeah. Uh, okay. okay. The cleansing so and redemption of the soul. Around? All right, turn around now. <laughs> turn around. Keep your hands up and down. Up and down, Patty. We don't want you rubbing your hands on the floor. Which, am I in the right direction? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Now slowly, yeah, m circumnavigate your way through the uh, mouse traps. <laughs> Lift your hands. Lift. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, that's not <laughs> That's not what? You put your hand in a mousetrap. Yeah, exactly. All right, she's on her way back from the wall. Last Stop time cheating. Two days. Hand up and down, Patty. <laughs> this would be like a good psychology of evil thing, you know, like when they do those college student experiments <laughs> with someone who played prison guards. <laughs> this is truly pure evil. I'll tell you the truth. Oh, Our cleavage is pretty good, though. I was just thinking that. All right, let's listen in. Let's, right. let's no, listen in. Let's God. listen in. Wow, no. It's so she's, she's hit a cluster. This is... Patty, to your left. To your left. Yeah, go a little left, Patty. Listen to the left. Why would you listen? <laughs> <laughs> if they tell you to go left, you go right. <laughs> she's cheating. Patty's cheating. Yeah, you're cheating. Oh, my oh. God. My, my, it was under me. It was under me. It was under me. Oh, God. <laughs> She's certainly not talking about a man. <laughs> oh. She's almost out of the She's almost out of the woods. She's almost, out, she's almost out of the minefield. Patty, you're heading toward the window. You yeah, got you, you got you really got to turn around to the right. Yeah. Oh no. No. You're I almost can't. out. You're almost out. Hands up, hand up and down. <laughs> up and down. No. <laughs> no crying. There's no crying in radio. No crying. There's no crying in, in, bl in blindfolded mouth trap. Yeah. Just crawl, whore. <laughs> Jim's, Jim's going to pledge himself to this later on. <laughs> All right, you're almost uh, out, Patty. By the way, not, bad to you. for the listeners at home, not right. It was never right. She has been out of the minefield for about uh, about thirty seconds. They yes. just keep taking the mouse traps from behind yeah. her and placing them in front of her. You're almost out of the. You're almost out, Patty. You're almost out of the minefield. I want her to have to walk. I'll tell you, there are get five those. guys. There are five guys man. putting the traps back in front of her. You're almost out. You're so close. You're really close. You only got Patty. a couple left in Get front of you. To the right a little bit. She's going the wrong way. Oh, I'd like to know who invented this game. Who thought it up? 
No, you got to put your hands down, not fists, Patty. Anyone can do Who that. Who thought it up? They hurt. I'm sorry. Uh, I invented this uh, game. Did you really? Uh, it was my invention. No, I'm being ripped insane. off once again. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> you got to use your, him, Fred. your hands, not your fists. <laughs> <laughs> I invent everything. <laughs> oh, well, she has made it. Oh, you're out, Patty. Oh, Stalker Patty has out. made it through the oh, minefield of wow. mouth trap. Now Patty, she has the to the courage walk. and bravery. You got to get her Unbelievable. Walk. Oh, my gosh. She yeah. looks like she just went through a traumatic you're experience. You're crying, Patty. You shouldn't be crying. Are you crying? Put your shoes on. <laughs> Did you put that in my shoe? <laughs> oh, the last oh, little fun know. treat. We put mouse traps in our shoes. See. I can't see. My eyes are going crazy. <laughs> Yo, you okay, Patty? I see there's tears coming down from your eyes. You did a, a bang-up job. You walked through that. You okay? Yeah. Why are you crying? Does it hurt? <laughs> did it Come hurt? here, darling. Yeah, let, let Colin, Colin comfort you. Let Colin, Colin always makes Patty feel better. There you go. I love Patty. Patty, would Colin be the right kind of guy? Because I think he's got a good sense of humor. Yeah. He's not like a boy toy. You don't like the young guy. I'm not saying you're an old guy. I'm just saying, you know, you're not, oh, your name isn't she Cher. She looks ridiculous. <laughs> she does look ridiculous. Yeah, as you crawl around with mousetraps on your fingers. You're on right, your claws. Yeah, but at least yeah, my, she's, yeah, she's... You know what? My feet hurt a little bit, too. They were oh, on yeah. my toes. It's all over the place. Yeah. Well, are, are the, <laughs> I guess we're going to be set for tomorrow. I yeah, think, uh, I think that'll work out well. I think it works. Worked out very well today. You know what we got to get though instead of that stupid because she was cheating. Punji steaks. She was not cheating. No. She was, she was looking like underneath the shirt. We got to get those eye patches that you sleep with because you can't I see. I couldn't see a thing. Uh, you're, no. Okay, maybe no, you're, you're I had cheating. no idea where I was going. People. Because he has no integrity. He's projecting it onto you, Patty. No, right. I saw that you were putting your hand. Like, because he would have cheated. I, I can't he's see thinking through that you did. shirt. No. 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 I couldn't see. Through that shirt. I couldn't looking see. Down Why do you have to get those eye patches? Why don't you get a rubber ball in their mouth too, you pervert? <laughs> <laughs> would uh, oh God, would oh Colin God. make a good companion for you though? Like to like break, as a man, break the ice he's got a good sense of humor. That's always important. He's a nice guy. He really gentle. Is. Thanks, Patty. It's very nice. Colin. I think, I think you're. I think you got a, a shot. He's a gentleman too. Yeah. All right. Gentleman. I like here. gentlemen. Yeah. Uh, all right, we should move on because we got relative to these people. Uh oh. Because I'm a gentleman because I don't put mouse traps and blindfold you. <laughs> Within six months, he'd bilk you of what little money you have to go to OTB. <laughs> I don't. Hey, the Derby. I hate part. OTB. So do I. Yeah, places. sure. It's sorted. <laughs> Sunset. Well, that was great. I'm glad it worked out, and uh, we know now tomorrow it's going to work. Yeah. Do we have enough uh, contestants for tomorrow? If you want to be in on this uh, contest, oh. give us a call, 1-866-313-FREE. <laughs> we will definitely have $500 on the floor tomorrow, tool tickets, and other prizes from Free FM here in New York City, okay? Right. Uh, well, just give Travis a call right now if you want in on this. Let Lady die in tomorrow. We were going to do it with her today, and then we're like, you know what? She should be in rehab. Yeah, we just Believe it or not, she was too it. pathetic for She's us. She's using these, these headphones. Uh, yes. she's not. No, those are the Ben ones. I don't think she was using that. Yeah, let's yeah. say hi to Dennis in New Jersey. Dennis? Oh, man, that stuff's sick. You know, yeah, she was when, a... When you, guys, when you guys first started, that used to upset me, but now, blindfolded well, chicks crying, that's... I'm, <laughs> You're hooked, I'm huh? He's hooked. I'm excited. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have fun with this tomorrow. All right. Not, not that we didn't today, Patty. It's always fun to make you cry. Why don't we take a quick break? we got Edward Norton uh, checking in next. Mm -hmm. We break now. We'll be able to talk to him for a little while, okay? Okie dokie. And Colin Quinn in studio, Dr. Ian Smith in studio. The guys uh, picking up the mousetraps. Once again, I want to thank the guys from uh, pestcontrolworld.biz, B-I-Z. We'll continue with the Opie and Anthony program. Golfing is a wonderful way to spend an afternoon. A true test of dexterity, skill, and, oh, seems to have landed in some dog mess. Oh, not again. Ramon, wash my balls. Opie and Anthony, weekday mornings. Colin Quinn in studio. we got to get a plug for uh, your Caroline's uh, dates there. That's right. And what about my play I produced last night? What about it? It's all dolled up at the Acorn Theater. Pretty funny. It's got transgender and mafia. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll wow. talk a little bit about that after we talk to oh, Edward fine. Norton. But uh, Colin Quinn playing Caroline's all this weekend, starting tonight Woo! through Sunday. That's right. You can get your tickets by calling 212-757-4100. But right now, we're all very excited because we got Edward Norton on the phone. Edward Norton. How are you? How are you, sir? 
I'm very well. Hey, uh, welcome is. to the Opie and Anthony program. Thanks. Wow. I uh, I got a copy of uh, Down in the Valley. I saw it last night. I loved the film. Oh, thanks. I want to say that right off the bat. I, I absolutely loved it. You? I'm I'm uh, just, I'm a fan of this film. This is one of the ones I really like that I've done. Uh, you want to explain the film just a little bit for the people out there? It's um it's a uh, it's a western, but not a. It, it's a. It's a contemporary western. It takes place out in Los Angeles, San Fernando Valley, and uh, it's a. It's a kind of about you know, kind of like the drifter who walks into town and collides with his family. Um, but uh, I don't know. It's hard to sum up. How would you sum it up? Um, great sex scene. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. That's a great plug. Thanks. <laughs> No, uh, I don't want to give uh, too much no, of it away. No, I agree. It's, it's, it's tough to... I mean, it's like... I, I, I have to... On the... At, at some films, like... I mean, how how would you sum up Fight Club? You know what I mean? It's a mm -hmm. very it's a very hard film to sum up. It's it's a lot about... I think the reason that my friend and I who made it did it was... It was... We used to look at each other and say, well, you know, we love we love the old westerns, but why would we want to go make another another western the same way everyone else has done it let's let's do some let's do it about like the west that we live in and let's make a movie that people look at the people in it and they say oh you know i know these people i've seen these people around and and i recognize this experience so uh must be nice to have the opportunity to uh be able to put together a movie that you want to do i mean i'm is. sure you went through a few years where it was just you know what people want you to do and then you reach a point where you can do uh, your own work yeah, I, I was lucky that way on a, on a certain level. It's always like that for actors in the beginning, you know. And and somewhere in there, when I started doing movies, I I, I started picking. Some, I mean, I remember I remember there was sort of a big John Grisham book uh, around the time we did American History X, and mm -hmm. someone was saying you should do this, you should do this. And I thought, you know, uh, <laughs> really, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> I should do I should do this little skinhead movie. But um, and and then when you make those. When you do that and, and you realize it means a lot more more to you, it kind of it kind of reinforces that. I got to ask you something about American History X. So one of my favorite movies. Uh, you're in you're in a couple of my favorite movies. Fight Club. To tell you the truth. Uh, that movie. There are so many scenes where and and I wonder this with other actors. How the hell do you stand there in front of people? Uh, whether it's uh, uh, someone of uh, a different race or ethnicity, and lambast them like that. And I know it's part of the character, but it, how does that end when the shot ends and you make nice, like the dinner scene with Elliot Gould in that is brutal. I mean, brutal. And you you come off so authentic as you're, you're just, you know, laying into this guy for being Jewish and his yeah. ideology. What happens after cut... Do you laugh it off? Do you? Is there some winding down that you have to do? Yes. Yeah. You know, the best thing. The best thing is having really great kind of dance partners in it. And like when you got somebody like Elliot Gould, the the thing is he's so he's so good that that he gets into it with you. And and as you you know as you switch a shot or you you change around or you have some seconds in between it all, like he's so good he'll even tuck over to you and sort of say. You know, let's try this, or that was fantastic. Do this, and so you're, you know, you're you're kind of in that headspace with somebody else, and and um, and and they're, you know, it's it's like a collaborative effort. Um, that's mm. the best way I can say it. But like that movie, we, it was a great example of everything that the movie's about in the sense that, like, you know, we had we had black guys, Mexican guys, we had men and women. I mean, you have like a a mix of people making it together who all believe in what it's about, and that mm -hmm. helps too. That helps too, you know. Was yeah. was that your favorite movie you did? You know, I, I I mean they're like children. It's like how it's hard to love one more than another. But I, I certainly liked the way that one came out. It, I think it came out very much like we were setting out. You know, it it, it did what we intended it. To you do, obviously but. worked pretty hard on it, especially on your uh, your body. Tell you the truth, I, have you ever had to work that hard getting in where shape for another it, where movie? Where did it all go? Where did it all go? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because then it, uh, your next movie was Fight Club, and uh, you know, yeah, obviously you're not in bad shape, but it was nothing like uh, you were in American History X. Well, you had to Actually, make sure you look a lot softer than uh, Brad Pitt in that movie. Yeah. Well, yeah, we kind of decided I was going to kind of get sort of almost junky thin in that one, and he was going to kind of get more and more idealized, you know. So, um, um. I, it was terrific. He was like stuffing his face and lifting weights, and I'm starving myself for six months. And um, 
Uh, so somehow I don't think I got the good end of that deal, but it was uh, it was fun. You know what my biggest problem? Because I do a little acting too. Oh. And uh, my biggest problem when I act, and I'm not particularly good, is what to do with my hands. Like they were, they just kind of just hang there, and I feel stupid and stiff. <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny you say that. I I think about that or like in theater sometimes. I get that feeling like that. What do I do with my hands? Feeling when you have to do a scene. I did one in acting class last night, and it was from a Sam Shepard play where I have to, I have to, it, it, uh, I have to play a guy who's like a, a, a kind of like like a, almost like a western type of vibe. And uh, I can't do accents at all. And, like, whenever I act, I'm just horribly embarrassed and exposed. And I feel like I'm trying hard, and everybody just knows I suck. <laughs> <laughs> Is that bad, like, to actually have that when you're acting? You, you're going to have to move through that eventually. But, um, yeah. And what play was it? Fool for Love? Yeah, yeah. It was just a, a scene where... Uh, I'm trying to convince May to come with me that I yeah. bought some uh, land in Quit Wyoming. Telling him what to play is stupid. He knows. Well, there's, I'm trying there's to. An, uh, we have an homage to to in down in the valley. Do you see that bit where I'm roping the chair in the hotel room? Yes, I did. Yeah, that's that's sort yeah. of like that's that's because yeah. we loved uh, Fool for Love. Yeah, well so done, uh, uh, Jimmy. Why don't you do the line for Edward Norton that you were uh, doing last night? Uh, I just couldn't do it well. Uh, I'm going to take care of you this time, May. See, just uh, okay. that was good. <laughs> I thought that was good. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. <laughs> that was really bad. It just didn't come off as good. I wasn't feeling too well, though. I had food poisoning. Stuff. But I also say this. In fairness, as good of an actor, as brilliant as Edward Norton is as an actor, that was an easy scene in American History X because you can see they cast an Elliot Gould because he is the epitome of annoying kike. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my kike. You know, he must have been like, ah, you kike. Right? <laughs> Thank you, Colin, for alienating Sorry, everybody. Yeah, that's well, great, Colin. Uh, Sorry about that. but I'm where, just are, you, to... are you guys up in Boston now? Uh, we're in New York City. Oh, you are? But yeah. we, we're heard in Boston. Oh, you're from Boston? Yeah. Uh, we're from here. And, and we, were, we were up in Boston for a while doing radio, and then we said something about Mayor Menino, and they threw us out of Boston. Oh, that's terrific. But then we came back. We kind of uh, told the whole city that he was dead for April Fool's. <laughs> you're from Boston, though, right? I, I, well, I was born there. I was born up in at Brigham Women's Hospital. You ever get back there? Yeah, now and then. Now and then. Yeah. You hang with, like, uh, old friends or something? Or um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm from I've been in New York for 15 years, so my crew is all. A lot of them are here. You and I actually met at the comedy cellar one night. You came down. Jim here. Norton. Jim Norton. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh Jim Norton. That's which is funny. That's my brother's name, but uh, that guy is hilarious. Well, that's oh, who we're. Thank you. That's yeah. the guy. Sam Shepard actor. Yeah, that's, that's me. Yeah. That's the guy that was doing the acting class. Bad <laughs> Sam Shepard actor is Jim Norton. Yeah. And, and by the way, oh. someone has to say it. Jimmy's a very good actor. He's going to be seen on the HBO series Lucky Louie in June. <laughs> well, it's funny. I, I, Somebody that was, has to say it. That was what Edward said to me when he came <laughs> out. Does that. He said, "That's my brother." That's where name. we met. Yeah, and I oh, bothered yeah. him for a picture upstairs, and he was very. Of course, close. you did. Why do you always have to bother everybody for a picture? It's creepy. Ask Edward Norton if he remembers how creeped out he was that he's trying to be a peer to you, and then you ask him for a picture. All right, hold on, <laughs> Edward. Um, do you do you remember being creeped out, or did you just think it was good natured fun? I, I thought it was uh, I thought it was pretty much good natured bad taste humor. Thank oh. you. Very much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was just you know two two men of a similar ilk as actors because taking a photo together. I go up to my good similar. friends, my peers. You Ellen. talked about your nipples. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Well, not to him after the show, probably on stage. Uh, yeah, no, I wouldn't mind. doubt you did after the show. I think it was both. I He's a despicable <laughs> man. Oh, you remembered that. Thank you. <laughs> hey, uh, Glenn wants to say hi to Edward Norton. Let's say, uh, let's say hi to Glenn. Glenn, what's up? Hey, Edward, how are you? It's Glenn Cunningham. How you doing? All right. Um, I wanted to thank you for uh, working in that uh, that movie, Pride and Glory. You had a good time with you, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's good. Are we working on that? Yeah, remember um, we talked about Aikido and uh, we were up in Harlem? Oh, yeah, yeah. You must uh, get this all the time. I worked on a movie. Yeah, Pride and Glory. Uh, we're shooting it still right now in New York. It's like a cop mm -hmm. corruption film. All right. Don't worry, I got the And that's all you have today? That's it, man. Take care and good luck. I'll see you right. in Way to okay. bond. Hey, Edward, <laughs> do, you, do you remember uh, Patrice O'Neill from 25th Hour? <laughs> <laughs> Big black guy. Like he was black WC, black WC Field. <laughs> black WC Field. He was the, uh, I guess, the doorman at the club you were I, going to. I do remember that. Yeah, he's a good friend of uh, ours in the show, and he constantly talks about doing that movie and working with you. Yeah. I do remember him. Yeah. And we we're constantly telling him shut up. 
<laughs> the chocolate man that can't eat chocolate. Well, it was actually a scene with, uh, I think, Edward and Philip Seymour Hoffman he got to do uh, a scene with. And he just said how nervous he was and how yeah, he had to Phil. come. Yeah, Two brilliant actors and he did Patrice. did a couple movies with Phil. He's fantastic. Yeah. How, he never. This is what I like about him. He never makes eye contact with people in, in a scene, which I think is great. Because in my class, they just say you got to look at the person in the eyes. But I, I don't look at people in the eyes in real life. I'm shifty and nervous all the time. Well, um, <laughs> well again. <laughs> but I mean, that's what I like again, about him. I, again, I don't really know what to say to you. <laughs> say what you really feel the inside, which is shut up, you rank amateur, <laughs> and don't ever bother me again with acting questions. There's nothing wrong. You dilettante idiot. Yeah, Jimmy's hoping that you guys are going to become friends. Yeah, Jimmy thinks you guys are going to be like studying together and doing Sham Shepard scenes. Jimmy's hoping by the end of this interview you go, yeah. uh, can you put me on hold? I want Jim Norton's phone number. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, maybe we can do a Sham Shepard play. Nobody <laughs> told I hope Alan. he kicks you down the stairs of the cellar next time he sees you. <laughs> Nobody told me this was your show, Jim. Why didn't they tell me? Uh, they probably didn't know. I mean, they don't know all the friends I have that are, happen to be celebrities. They don't give me because any credit. Because the third wheel. Yeah, uh, I am pretty please. much the third wheel. Um, you know something? I love uh, rounders also. Do you think that might have come out a couple of years too early? Uh, yeah, I know. They say it's bad, just as bad to be too early as too late, right? Yeah, that, I mean, that movie is fantastic. And now it's just such a, uh, a cult favorite with uh, people that play poker, who now is everybody. You uh, Do you play? I, I do play now and then. The guys who wrote that film are good friends of mine, and they, uh, they, they, you know, um, they really taught me a lot about the game, and and I'll still get into a. You're the fish, I, though, I'll or what? I get into a home game now and then and beat everybody up. You're not one of those like you know, like go around to the tournaments though. Well, a celebrity it's, hard, it's hard when I go play. If I go sit in a casino or something, every every everybody sees Worm walk in and they all want action, so they, <laughs> right. so they just all bet into me. I can't really. I have to play pretty high stakes to get a straight game. For yeah, me. don't doubt it. How amazing was it working with uh, with De Niro and Brando doing scenes with those two? Um, they're great. Uh, they're great. I, I knew both of them before it, um, but it was a. I mean, Bob especially, that was like a dream come true. Yeah, he's, he's, let, me, let me ask you something. When you uh, saw Norton's original act at the cellar, did you ever dream he'd ask you a question <laughs> that Byron Allen wouldn't even ask you how amazing it is to work with Brando De Niro? I only thought well, how can you answer that other than it was great? Stupid. Well, I just thought of it. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Because I saw how You're much weight you put on, so it made me think of Brando. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little heavy, it's true. All right, hey, let's say hi to Cappy on Long Island. Cappy, we got Edward Norton on the phone. Hey, Edward. American History X, you were genius in that movie. That's oh, my you, absolute Cappy. favorite movie of all time, man. Is uh, is uh, is it difficult doing the prison rape scene? I mean, it, it might sound like a silly question on the outside. It goes, no, it's a piece of cake. But, I mean, what kind of mindset do you have to get into for that? Um... Well, most of the guys that we were doing that with were actually uh, Cute. reformed ex-cons. Oh. <laughs> really? Yeah, and um, so I think uh, uh, fear was the operating <laughs> uh, emotion in that one. They, they they didn't really have a sense of like, you know, huh. of of how you fake it in a stunt. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> damn, that hurts. <laughs> uh, it, yeah, the uh, realism there and the whole. Uh, I mean, you, you you came off as kind of a despicable human being in that movie for the most part at the beginning especially, but then also misguided and stuff. But when that scene came up, you just really didn't expect it to happen to, you know, the major character in the scene. So it made it that much more, uh, that much more brutal. Yeah, it's a tough one. I mean, I like, I like, you know, he's a character that kind of goes and starts in one place and ends up in a very different place, which is kind of interesting. I mean... But that, like down in the valley, you just saw it. It's it's kind of the opposite. Mm -hmm. It's like he, it's a very complicated character. This in this movie, this guy, you know, he he seems like incredibly charming and, and poetic and. Yeah, we should explain like down in the valley a little more. So yeah, uh, yeah he, I mean, he, you know, he starts dating an underage girl. Yeah. And, and and they're falling in love, like real love. And then, mm -hmm. and then there's obviously some twists and turns. The father's not into it at all. A couple of problems. And he also <laughs> befriends. Um, um, the, uh, the brother of of his girlfriend, right? And uh, and and it's great. It's it's yeah, like a it modern day movie. Up, but it ends up a uh, uh, modern day uh, western. I'm sorry. It is, and but I think you end up. You know, we we always felt like it, it, we wanted you to end up kind of where those kids end up about him. Like like not not sure how you feel about the guy, and um and that, mm. you know, I mean, he reminded me of like uh, Cool Hand Luke or those characters I used to love who are kind of they're 
there's something great about them, but you just know they're never going to be able to get it together quite. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, uh, Edward, I was thinking. Uh, I was thinking there's a little taxi driver in there too. Well, it's funny, you know. We there's a scene that people keep talking about about that, um, and we had this whole thing in our head of this one western that we love and him acting out this western. But later, when we looked at it, we realized. There was there was kind of this weird echo of that, but that's fine too because it's all a lot of it's about fantasy and 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 I, I you know that that movie is so much in everybody's heads that I I believe I buy that it's even in his in a way. Mm -hmm. I love that's I mean that's th this is like I mean this is kind of like a if you took Taxi Driver and transplanted it to the West, you know, it's like it's like a, a sh it's one of those kinds of films, but it's um it's in a a very different context, um, but I, I mean, obviously, that's a classic, you know. Hey, was there something with American History X too? People said that Tony K wasn't happy with it, or there's something he wanted to do that the studio made him do differently. Uh, was this what was with the film that that he kind of that flipped was, out about? That was a little bit overinflated. Tony, Tony we worked incredible. I, I loved working with Tony, and and he and I had a great time throughout. We worked, um, you know, on it all the way down. He he didn't he didn't want to finish. I mean, he he kind of wanted to keep going, and they wanted to put it out and everyone we were all trying to convince him it was it was you know at some report at a certain point you just gotta let it go and it was great mm -hmm. but um so the funny thing is someone um someone i know ran into him recently i haven't seen him in a little bit and, and i guess tony uh, turned to him and said uh you know i caught the film on tv the other night it's really it's really a good movie <laughs> so Finally. i think he i think he kind of came around yeah but um but yeah it's you know these kinds of movies the thing is this one down the valley is is like that one in the sense that we made it you know, you know, we made it for like the costume budget of other movies, and and um, and it, you know, we've, we're starting it out small in just a couple cities. It'll be just in New York this weekend, and so we're we're uh, you know, we're trying to let people know about it. It, we've gotten great reviews for it, but it's um, I mean, we probably have you know, literally like one one thousandth of the marketing budget of a movie like Mission Impossible Three, and we're right. and it's it's a it's a challenge. It's 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 challenging, it's, but it's a place where we're trying to let people know that, you know, you, going to see it the first weekend, you can actually, in a lot of ways, make a difference in whether or not movies like this are getting out there. So it's not in the marketing budget for you to jump on a horse and ride all over Manhattan, <laughs> take a speedboat, <laughs> yeah, a snarling helicopter. all the traffic for a day. <laughs> Thanks, no. Tom. Thanks, Tom. <laughs> Rape Katie Holmes. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Colin. God. It comes out May 5th in uh, New York and May 12th in L.A. And, uh, Tomorrow in New York, yeah, Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Say the fourth? Yep. www.downinthevalley.com uh, Downinthevalleyfilm.com God, do I stink. Down in the Valley Film dot com. It's tough to talk about the movie because there's. Uh, you, you enjoyed it. Yeah. I, I really enjoyed it, and there's a lot of twists and turns, and it's hard to really discuss it without really giving away some of the key uh, points yeah. in the movie. But and Edward's just a great actor. If I may kiss your ass, sir, you uh, you're really good. I mean, I, I think I've been finding a lot. It's funny the movies you guys have been saying you like. I, I've been finding the people who uh, people who like Fight Club and. 25th Hour and those kinds of movies are, are really enjoying this movie, you know? Uh, very good. There's something about it, but... Um, I loved you in The People vs. Larry Flint as the attorney. I like that one, too. Yep. I like that film a lot. That was one of my favorite things you that's did. A, that's, another of, that's another of my films I liked that, that was a complete commercial failure. <laughs> was it really? <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, you got to get a couple of those in. Oh, I, I get a lot of those in. <laughs> Does it make you want to throw up, though, when that movie doesn't like do as well as they wanted it to, and you see like bringing down the house, breaking $100 million, don't you just want to open fire? <laughs> um, you you do wonder like what your fellow citizens like you know uh, are actually made of, but um, they just want to line them up on a curb. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to check how Dunstan checks in. It's really good. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let Edward Norton go. Edward Norton, this was a thrill for us. I got to tell you. Yeah, oh, huge fans, man. It's, pleasure. it's down in the valley. Comes out tomorrow in New York, and then uh, next uh, Friday in Los Angeles. It's down in the valley film dot com. Excellent. You guys be good. Thank uh, you, man. Thanks for I calling in. appreciate him. it. Thank you. Thanks. Edward yeah. Norton, everyone. The best part is that Jim Norton looks like Edward Furlong in American history. <laughs> I don't remember him. Shut up. He's the little brother, you idiot. Well, what do I know? I'm just too busy talking to my other acting friend. You know, <laughs> I hate when he says this because now he had more of a connection with Edward Norton than any of us oh, did. So now he's playing it. I would have break his leg like Ed Norton did to the black dude in American History X on the curb. <laughs> that was, put his face on the curb. I would put Norton's cheek put his teeth, on, teeth on there and just step on the back hey, of his oh, head. That was, a, that was a good scene. That was cathartic. Brutal. Cathartic. Yeah. yeah. Right?
Very cathartic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Guys like Edward Norton. Like, myself, shut your mouth. <laughs> we get together, we talk. I mean, it's just what happens. Yeah. You stink. Well, I stink. I can't help it. All right, listen, we got to wrap up the first half of the Opie and Anthony show. We're going to continue on XM for a few hours. Uh, we got Greg from Caroline's. He's got a gift for Jimmy. Let's not forget Colin Quinn's at Caroline's all weekend long, tonight through Sunday. 212 757 4100, I think. For tickets. I'll be there, Colin. I'll be supporting yeah, Colin Cole. Coyne at Caroline's. And by the this way, weekend. he always shows up, and Anthony never does. If you're not doing anything Aww. next weekend, Colin, I'm, I'm doing the Orphan with David Tell. We, well, do, we need an like opening to, act. Well, would you like uh, to come oh. see Would you like to come see All Dolled Up? It's a training play. I actually I, would. I know you would. Hey, Jimmy, were you, playing, was hilarious. were you playing with David Tell any time like, oui. within the past couple of days? No. Were oui. you? I got a phone call. Even to you. Somebody just called my cell phone. I pick it up, and it's one of those they inadvertently dialed my number, so uh, now I got to sit in on the conversation and hear yes. things. And it was just Dave Attell's act. Wheel. It was like Dave Attell either on TV or live in a club or something. No. So who the hell knows me that was listening to Dave Attell? No clue. It was Norton. He's still. And you can't hang up no, because you got to listen and see if they say something bad about you. Right. We got to hurry up because we got two minutes left. Greg Charles, Wheel. what do you got? You don't have to bring. Hey, Rock. Greg yeah. Charles has a gift for Norton. Get a gift for Jimmy. Greg, you guys don't have to do that. Greg. Of course, Jimmy. You really Try don't. You like the rapping. Please this tell me something. it's Colin Thanks. Quinn's poster and it says canceled. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's that picture of New Year's Eve. Can I open this up? That hurts. Yeah. Brett Charles from Caroline's, a gift for Jimmy. Because he didn't get one the other day. He's making good. Here oh, it is. Boy. Oh, boy. Wow. Wow. And it says sold out. Sold very out. nice. Oh, that's really you're nice, home, Jimmy. Thank you very much. Oh, uh, my God. After signing this new deal, that sold out has a whole new meaning. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you look like a beautiful little Nambler victim. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Greg. You stupid tadpole. Thank you. Norton looks like a tadpole. <laughs> that is a sexy little picture, that's Jimmy. A, that's my Caroline's when I was there, and it, it actually says sold out in red letters. Couldn't you have photoshopped a breathe right strip on his nose? Because <laughs> he doesn't leave home without it these days. He's a psychopath. I can't breathe otherwise. All right, here's the deal. we got two more things we got to do, and we only have like a minute here. left in this half of the show. Dr. Ian Smith, you got to make good right now. I'm giving away books. Yes, uh, Dr. Ian Smith has a great book out. It's called uh, Fat Smash Diet. Yep. Our own Nathaniel lost like 15 pounds on it. It's working uh, great for him and many other people out there. A lot of people using it. And we've been promoting the book like crazy. It is working. Mm -hmm. And he brought like two books to give away to our listeners last time. So I got 75 books. Wow. 75 books. Oh. Right. So wow. Go to fatsmashdiet.com. Wait a minute. There's no porno on that website, right? Nah, nah, nah. All right. I guess we can promote it then. Yeah. <laughs> fatsmashdiet.com. Yeah. And we're going to do a challenge. We're uh -oh. going to do an open Anthony Fat Smash challenge. We'll talk about it later. Ooh, a tease. A little tease, huh? How about that? You, you'll seconds. take some of the emails and uh, just randomly give out about 75 books. Yeah. First 75 emails. That's very cool of Dr. Ian Smith. All right. Nice. Tomorrow on this half of the program, we're giving out the tool tickets. We got the cold hard cash, other prizes in the uh, minefield of mousetraps that stalker Patty tried out today. Patty, thank you so much for yeah. doing that thank and getting you, nothing mess. for it. We greatly appreciate it. Uh, really fast before we leave this half of the show, Big Ass members on the phone. Mm -hmm. Just got to rehab with Lady Di. Hey, uh, how you guys doing? Hey. What's up, Bam? We just got here. She's being processed in for the, uh, I guess, five to seven day detox. Good. Mm. She went without much of a whimper other than her welfare, her welfare, whatever. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, don't worry about it. But, uh, I just hope she dies during detox. <laughs> <laughs> Bam drops her off and hopes her death. That's yeah. how we help people on the Opie and Anthony program. You're a breath of fresh air, Bam. Godspeed. So, yeah, well, yeah. she's in and being processed in. Let's see if she stays in for the uh, five days. Yeah, I think it's five to seven day detox, and then I think it's uh, a 28 day rehab if she makes it. And then there's probably some kind of counseling that she can go to, and she, I'm sure yeah. they'll clean her up and uh, give her a little robe to wear or something. Well, good for her. Hey, Bam, tell her uh, to call us. Can, can you call from these places? Yeah, I think I don't think can. she can. All right. Yeah. Tell her to call and uh, give us a progress report. I, I say she lasts... Uh, Three days. Twelve hours. I wow. Twelve hours. What, you think she's ready? Yep. That seemed like a person that was ready? Yeah, man. You never, she's you never a wake compulsive up going, liar. I can't wait to do this. Well, she's actually well, getting the, the real. good news is she's not anywhere near to her home, so she can't just leave and walk down the street like last time. Three days. Right. She's too ugly to hitchhike. <laughs> we'll pick her up. <laughs> All right, so uh, Lady Di has made it to detox. We'll see what happens. Right. I, I, good luck. i got to go get my card detailed now. All right, anything else you want to add, Bam? <laughs> oh, that's around it. Thanks, right. Bam. Good Th job, man. Bam Have does great one. stuff for the Opie and Anthony program. Yeah. The ONA pests do a lot. 
And we greatly appreciate it. All right, Bam. Let's hit the streets. See you later. Bye-bye. Yeah, we're hitting the streets. We'll broadcast live now from the streets you, uh, of New York as we get to the other studio. We'll see you tomorrow if you don't have XM. Today, is the, uh, today we're going to have um, uh, Club Soda Candy skipping all six foot six of him and throwing uh, dollar bills up in the air as we walk to the... Uh, How cool was Edward Norton? Great. That was pretty good. Someone said I was homo for him. I saw the phone call. It's like, is Anthony homo for Edward Norton? Why? Because I commented uh, that he was... Buff, yeah, in he American did have a great I comment that Oprah and, uh, okay. that I think he's a great actor. Yeah. He's wonderful. He's a uh, captivating. Someone on the instant feedback said, "Out sexy." He's a. Uh oh. Very, very Someone on the instant feedback. Yes, uh, said I was stepping all over him. I was just nervous to talk to him, man. That's a biggie. That's a big get for us. I hear if we were nice enough to him, might actually come in in the summer. That'd be cool. New York. Now that'd be cool. Think of the picture, Jim. Oh, you already have a picture with Yeah, the, I do. I get it signed, though. Uh, By the way, where's Colin Quinn? He was chasing Bill. Down. Chasing Bill with Jim's poster, which he threw down in the Free FM lobby. He's trying to break so, my poster. Call you know what it is? He, think, he, he thinks it's bogus because he's never seen sold out on a Caroline's poster. <laughs> that was a really nice poster, too. I can't believe he would break he's that. He's trying to break it. I can. I think you really like that poster, I, He's right? like jealous, it. I think. He's I jealous. All right, here's the deal today. We're going to be walking to the uh, XM studios. Yep. We got, I don't know, close to $100 cash in all ones. And we're going to get uh, Club Soda Kenny, six foot six. Uh, skipping down the sidewalk and just throwing dollar bills just in the throwing air. Throwing money in the air. Hello. Hi, Kenny. I what? I can't hear. What am I? Am I supposed uh, to talk? We're just saying hi. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. It's a beautiful day. I'm going to be throwing away monies. All right. I'll hand the money over to Club Soda Kenny. Let's uh, start the walk, to XM. We'll just Satellite walk. radio. We'll just walk. We'll just walk like we do now every day. Yeah, and the crowd's oh, getting bigger and bigger and, every day, I and know. And Master Poe is ushering people away. Oh, nice job. Hey, hey, hey how the bus you doing driver there? from yesterday. The bus driver, uh... Rich Voss wanted to get on that bus yesterday and uh, do some stand-up. A lot of, uh... A lot of fans of the show on, on the walk. Very surprised. I guess it's the low self-esteem. You think no one's listening. And then oh. you get some people uh, coming out of cabs, holding up wow stickers, beeping their horns. Waving. Waving, even. I just wanted to throw a gesture in there. So Thank you, Jimmy. <laughs> All right, let's get Club Soda Kenny to do the first skip from here to, yeah, from here to the bus stop, ready? Club Soda Kenny, all stop. six foot six of them just throwing money in the air as he He's skips. Just throwing, look, throwing Look at this guy money. backing up. Uh, th th he has an iPod, and the guy's just backing up going, what the hell's going on? Kenny's just skipping, throwing. Oh, look, an Asian woman just picks him up. She likes that. There's men in suits actually wrestling Look for a dollar. Look at him skipping to the corner. People are people are picking him up. Well, of course they are. I got. I'm bringing up the rear. Two of Anthony's neighbors are following us. <laughs> <laughs> and there you go. Whoa, that one made it into the street. Skip across the street, Kenny. Tell him to go across the street. <laughs> Look, there's one in the middle of traffic. Yeah, so go in traffic. Whoa, there it goes, flying. This. This guy's going to try to stop a car to get a dollar bill. This wasn't uh, the, the smartest idea. I think Kenny should... Opie. Opie. Yes. I think Kenny should, when the light is red, skip right through traffic throwing the money so the money will get swept down the street by the cars. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Why don't we just put it on, on a Klansman's hat and send him through Harlem with dollars <laughs> paid to him? Okay. I, are you ready to do your next skip? Yeah. Let's All cross. Right. Let's cross this way. Huh? Where's Tony Bennett? He's right here. He Where's Tony nothing. Bennett? Don't oh, yell look, at him. Look, he's going. Hi, Tony. Tony doesn't like us. Hi, Tony. Leave Tony alone. He doesn't Leave want Tony to talk alone. To Leave him alone. We, we see him every day. He's Tony's shaking his uh, head. Tony's not coming back this way. Wow. It's Tony Bennett, for God's sake. We love him. Why didn't you offer him some of those dollars in your hand? What happened? What happened, Kenny? I don't know. He's not into it. Of course he's not. I know. Did you see the corner he cut? He was walking across the road. He saw us and cut through traffic. Uh, what's that? Whoa, Jimmy whoa, is wait, sexy. Hold on a minute. Hold well, on right, a minute. All right, Jimmy. Bring hold the whore over. Talk. <laughs> Who are you? Hi. Uh, my name is Betsy. Hi, Jimmy. I think you're sexy. Oh, thank you, Betsy. How are wow. you? Wow. Nice to meet you. Do you have a gentleman friend? Uh, I'm, I'm married. Where is your husband? Uh, he's on. Uh, well, I'm going to do a cartwheel. Yeah. yeah, do a cartwheel for a dollar. 
I just hope the cancer wig doesn't uh, like fall off. See that. Oh, geez. Leave, leave Dutch paint hairdo alone. <laughs> All, All right. right, she's doing cartwheels for everybody. Oh, I nice saw thong. Yeah, purple you panties. A, wait, you got a thong. Let's turn around here. We saw your purple we, but thong. We saw it. Where do you live? I go there. Where do you live? Uh, I'm in New Jersey. Okay. No, you're not. You're in Manhattan. Uh, well, no, I live in New Jersey. Oh, I know okay. I'm in Manhattan. thought you were confused. Do you, do you want to take the walk with us? I'll take the walk. Okay. All right. Do Will your husband get mad if we make out in the toilet? Uh, I don't think... He's a don't gymnast. It says what? You're from some gymnastic academy? Uh, yes. I teach, so, you, you know. You teach? Yeah. How old are your students? Young. How, how old? Too young for you. How old? One? You, you'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> They're eight. Is there any uh, other moves you could do on the sidewalk for us? Uh, Can you do a split? You guys want to see a split? I want to see a split. All right. Yeah, yes, you will. Yeah, you get another dollar. All right. Oh, Kenny just hung up on her husband. All right, here she goes. A split. Hey, wow. Hey, all right. She's very sexy. Oh. Jimmy thinks you're very sexy, Phenomenal. too. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. I like the fact you can do splits and things yeah. of that ilk. My husband does, too. Is he are also you, a gymnast? Are you dirty? What's that? Are you, are you, like, dirty with your gymnastics now? Because now that you're uh, a little older and you can't compete, really, you can teach... Yeah. But but you can't compete. Do you use it for dirty sex now? Your gymnastics um, abilities. That's a secret. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's... stand on your hands and then do a split, and your hubby could just <laughs> dig right in. Um, well, you I'm know, sure that's I'll happened. Leave it to your imagination. Nah. No, don't do that because you wind up decapitated. And <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's can go. Can you do the handstand split? Uh. Another dollar. Another dollar. Another dollar. Can you do that where you do a handstand and, and a split? All right, here we go. It's just the New York City sidewalk. It's clean. Don't it's worry clean. about it. It's clean. Don't worry about it. Here we go. The gymnast is yeah. doing another move here. The handstand split. Yeah, you stand on your hands, and then you do a split. This I want to see. Look at it. You can tell she's very muscular. Yeah, you got those. Uh, here we go. Gymnast thighs. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, 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 well, I was close. Well, you didn't hold it. Dude. I was close. You didn't hold it. Yeah, that you was didn't hold spl- it. You got to hold it a little bit. Yeah. No, you're not getting no, that other no, leg over. No, enough. you got to get the other leg yeah. over. Yeah, one more time. One you, more the time. Other, the leg isn't going over enough. There you go. There it Woo! is. Nice. Wow. And Very we got good. to see the thong again. Yeah, that's what, that was the goal. Would you like to hug Jimmy before we move on? I'll hug him. Oh, okay. a little Jimmy hug. No. Just a hug is okay. No, you need. You got to pay me another dollar. You dog. can't get AIDS from a hug. Oh. Remember. Oh. All right, we got to walk. Thank you. A little gas. Thank you, Jim. Hugs me. All right, uh, Kenny, if you will, start skipping again and throwing the dollar bills. All right, right across the street, Kenny. There he goes. Mr. Moneybags. Look at him go. He's just throwing money. Oh. A lady stops with her baby to pick He's up money. He's just the uh, throwing money. Right. You know, these cheap bastards that came for the walk with us are taking all the money. I it's not this. for them. It's for people on the streets also. Opie, how are we going to solve that problem? Jesus. I, I'm, I'm hoping someone gets decapit- <laughs> decapitated by the, the, the cabs. See, I see a problem. The people that are following us are taking all the money, and, and the people walking down the street aren't really getting any. It's like just handing them money. Who's that with the hat? Is How much famous? do you have already, you fat fuck? <laughs> How much? Seven. Seven. Lucky so you're taking seven. seven dollars already. Seven fucking bucks. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that means Comeback City is on. Did somebody throw braces up in the air? Uh, you want me to give it back? It just flew my Shut up, leg. would you? Oh, my God. <laughs> Kenny took the dollar back from Stalker Patty. Well, he right, should. We're right across the street. Oh, uh, now we're going to miss the signal. Hey, uh, hey, everybody, I see Colin Quinn way up in the window on the fifth floor. The fifth floor, that's the XM Satellite Radio Studios. <laughs> what is he doing? He's got, oh, he's got a cup of something. He's got oh, something no. planned. How are we going to walk underneath? He's ripping stuff up and throwing it out the window. It's probably Jimmy's. There you go, Jimmy. Is it tender sentiment, We're waiting for the light to change. What is he, so we can what cross is he, what is he ripping up besides not his lunch order? That fucking <laughs> fatso. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's something of yours, Jimmy. He ripped up your tender. He really doesn't like you. Did he? Yeah, he did. Did he wreck the oh, bed that Jack asked? What did he rip up? Your tender. tender oh, those were the tender sentiments. And I'm gonna he smash ripped you. Ripped up Jimmy's tender tender sentiments. That's not nice. No. All right. And I'm going to smash this All right, here we Kenny, go. Kenny, continue skipping and throwing the dollar bills as we make our way to XM Satellite Radio. 
<clears throat> oh, look at him throwing money around. Throwing money. Skip right. What a guy. Board. Look at him just throwing cold, hard cash. You can't pick the money up with your camera. What are you doing? The intern's picking it up. Former child stars picking up the dollar bills. The lady's pushing her baby to try to get one, and the fucking the intern is doing it. On the... Uh oh. Oh, cops okay. Just turning around. <laughs> I thought yeah, they were uh, here the, for no, us. the cops just turning. Uh, he's they just, just turning. turning around. All care. right. I don't think we'll be arrested. For what? Oh, I see why he's uh, in this area. Why? Well, he's, look he's, at some of the people on the corner. He's just taking a peek. <laughs> Could be a problem. He's just taking a peek. <laughs> <laughs> we're just about at uh, XM, outside XM. Is Colin Quinn still in the hey. window? There they are. I'm New actually York's up finest. at the, uh, I'm cutting up Jim's tums and putting them in his banana. Get a little salute from a couple of uh, police officers out there. Yeah, watch out when you walk under the window. I don't know what Colin wants to drop on us. Oh, did he throw them out? That's good. He ruined the bit. That's smart. Ruined the bit. But dope. <laughs> <laughs> All that right. bit was ruined the minute Wonderful. it started. It's yeah, well, well, here we are. No smoothies, no nothing. We get right upstairs today. Yeah. We got a busy day. All right. Wow, we got a hell of a crowd with us. The crowd Go is away. every day. We hate you all. Bye, guys. Thanks for following us today. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. We'll I think a really couple fast. of people made uh, two or uh, three bucks. Maybe a little more than that. Perhaps more than that, Jim. Uh, Anthony's gone. All right, we may uh, be back on the air in a matter of moments. Just be gone. Hi. I'm just uh, getting a uh, pal talk up here because the people get a little upset. It's not up there right away. And we're getting our stuff uh, yeah. put out in front of us. That's what the first uh, few things. Kenny, um, can we get smoothies today? Sure. What would you like, sir? Protein smoothie. Huh? You know there something? You go. Dr. Oh, Ian Smith said God. more protein. I more hate protein. this because it, by, by the Come time on. I go home, I'm going to be gurgling and percolating. But I love those banana uh, strawberry smoothies. Would you like protein with yours? And now, what is that going to do for me? <laughs> Ask Dr. Little Ian sprinkle, Smith. Sprinkle for Dr. Energy. Ian, does it is it for energy or is it for uh, like, you know something? No, I don't want it. Oh boy. I just want. Oh boy. Uh oh. The good taste. No, it doesn't affect the taste. <laughs> it doesn't affect the taste. It's protein. Yeah, it does. will help it does. your energy during the day. Yeah. You can taste it. Yeah. Yeah. Try it. Tastes a little bitter, but it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Jimmy. <laughs> All right. Okay. Get him some. Get him some. Do you like some skim milk? Yeah. Goodness. Skim milk? Yeah. That yeah. might help. All right, here. Here's the extra money from the walkover. Just uh, banana strawberry. That's good. Everyone is excited. They wanted. To, they want the dump report. We should get the dump report in minutes. All right, we'll get the dump oh, report already? soon. Okay. All right, uh, hold let me on. See. Before we go to the dump report, we got another update wow. from. Holy shit! Two pages. Yeah. We have another update from Big Ass Member. <laughs> well, uh, as you guys expected, Lady Di is refusing to accept treatment. Is she? Wait, wait, what oh, happened? Fucker. She is claiming that she wants to get off of some suspension on New Jersey Medicare, and she has to go back to New Jersey. And uh, they say, don't worry about it. You'll deal with that after the detox period. We'll detox you here. And she's like, no, no, no. i got to go back to the office. So I have washed my hands of that lady. I left her in Yonkers, New York. What a piece of shit. And gave her $7 to get home. What a piece of shit. He oh, you ditched her. <laughs> Good. Her Good. Ditched her. Bam, you're a hero. Good. You ditched her. And she you deserves know, I, it. I, I told her. It's rehab. That's She's stupid. trying to walk right down the street to a liquor store, spend that $7 they give her, and be stuck in Yonkers. Stupid Good bitch. Stupid bitch. She could have st been in a detox, seven days, cleaning up, getting uh, her, her fingernails clipped and cleaned, getting uh, her hair washed, washing her body, and, and getting some help, and she decides no. And it's not because this one, this welfare thing, and that she just wants to to drink herself to death. There you go. Godspeed. Have fun, Fatso. Get in there and kill yourself. And she's an hour and a half from where she quote unquote lives. Good. See what happens when you try to help. <laughs> Good for you to leave that her intervention. There too. So so what happened? She was signing in, and then she just got cold feet and 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 left. 
Yeah, because they can't they can't deal with New Jersey Medicaid. But they said, don't worry about it. We'll lose money on you and we'll detox you. And then when you get back to New Jersey, we'll get you back to New Jersey. When you get back, you just tell them you're in, de- you're in detox. And they'll deal with it when you get back. But now she wants to deal with it now. That's the reason why she can't stay around. So, yeah, fuck her. All right. Well, thanks, Bam. Bam has left Lady Di somewhere in Yonkers. I had such faith, too. Yeah, you you believe this time. I said, what did I'm I just say? Naive. I said 12 hours, I think. I see things through the naive eyes of a young boy. Wow. I gave her a like. See, a, you don't need tender days. sentiments. You make up your own. <laughs> yeah, that they was a pretty though. tender sentiment. They they help, though, when, when things are blue. Shut up. There were like four of them. Four <laughs> shitty ones in a fucking Kleenex box, and you're telling me it's a bit? Yeah. Go fuck yourself, it's loser. something that we like Shut on up. this radio program. <laughs> and they helped me get through it sad was done. times. No, there was many more to be read. No, there was four. There well, were many. All right, Bam, thank you. They, kept, they would come right, when I wasn't was looking. Like a magical gift, more tender sentiments would appear. Let's go to James, the bus driver. James, you were outside? Yeah, I was outside. Seeing that big six-foot-six ugly son of a bitch skipping down the street was the funniest fucking thing I've seen in a while. <laughs> ugly? He's in a it suit. He, he's skipping and throwing money in the air as we walked today. It was fucking hilarious. It and was our, beautiful. Our own interns the are picking the money up. The XM, they're, sk- um, they're dumping out of you guys in the morning time on uh, 92.3. Oh, we know that. Um, We're going into the... on the XM. Well, uh, now, yeah, I'm hearing something's happening now that it's being dumped on the XM side. What are you talking about, sir? Explain. Uh, a couple of, uh, like, curses and everything were dumped out on the XM side this morning. Now, what do you mean? Which, which ones and how do you um, know? It was uh, it was definitely a fuck was uh, dumped out of it. It's happened a couple times yesterday also. Uh, when I said fuck... I believe so. No, because I stopped myself. That's Opie why. Opie stopped himself. It sounded like a dumb. So what did you hear? Did you hear Opie go fuck and then didn't hear the rest? Yeah. So See, I no, it was that's all. No, that's what he stopped happened. Himself. He stopped, stopped himself. But it was enough where they dumped. Um, all right, on, on it was uh, good seeing you on the streets once again. All right. Long time listener from NEW. I hope to hear the. Uh, Margie in Connecticut, what's up? <laughs> had enough that's for you. I just wanted like to tell never you guys existed. that the walk over has got to be the funniest part of the show. You like the walk? I love it. I, I'm a huge fan. Started listening to you when you first came to XM, and uh, I just want to tell you, it makes me laugh every morning. Wait, What's where's good? the chick that likes me? Why do we bring her up? Well, she's no, Jimmy Norton. I'm gonna come see you at Gotham, right? I'm gonna come see you at Gotham. Next Thursday, I am doing a benefit with. Uh, it's for our friend Masavia's son. We're doing. Uh, it's me, Patrice, yeah. Colony doing that. Yes, yeah, so I'm around. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. You, if you're around, where would you be besides maybe? I don't know. Maybe out of town. You never know. Now, Jim, I gotta come see you there. I'm going to bring my, my girlfriend. Come Comics there, for a good right? cause. Me, Patrice, Billy Burr, Vinny Brand, Voss. It's a really good show. Nah, come to Caroline's this weekend. All right, Margie. Come to Caroline's this weekend. Thank you so much, you guys. I uh, enjoy it every morning. All right. Yeah, the crowd is getting uh, larger and larger every morning. It's yep. growing. So, uh, I'm going to come see you guys. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to Carl in Jersey. Carl, what's up? Hey, why doesn't somebody tell Carl and Clint to shut the fuck up and stop touching little Jimmy stuff? Oh, Carl, I got to agree. Uh, I got to uh, agree. Uh, really, Carl? How about if I kick you in your face, stupid? Oh, yeah, like you're that tough. Come on. Everybody's that tough behind the mic, right? Yep. That's right. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Good, Good point, point sir. Good point. <laughs> Carl, and leave little Jimmy shit alone. Jimmy, I love you. Happy birthday. Thank uh, you, Carl. It's not his birthday and his shit stinks, and it that's is, why I'm throwing it, it out. It is my birthday, let's go to, and send it is, has helped me. Let's go to really Jeff in Cleveland. Jeff? Oh. Yes. Hey, yeah, a little Jimmy should get to rip up Colin's uh, appearance check for that one. You suck, Colin. I don't your have an appearance. show was erased from Comedy Central, and they erased your freaking tapes from MTV up that dumb remote control show of yours. Remote. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people are really mad that you ripped up uh, Jimmy Norris. That's right. Tell so what? Sentiments. Think I care? Yes. Oh, hey, Jimmy? Not going to work, sir. Even though you're defending me, I can't be gotten. All right. All right. There you go. To the dump sheet. All right. Uh, by the way... Again, I am uh, I am becoming quite the expert because I knew every single one of these would be dumped out. Yeah, Some I'm... of them, pretty easy. Other ones, I just knew. <laughs> I thought Kenny's stuff would get dumped and it did, too. Yep, and of it did. Of course it did. All right, here it is, 6.05 a.m. Don't we go on at 6? Yeah. Uh, well, after the, the long intro and stuff, yeah, it was 6.05. So this is seconds into us speaking. <laughs> Opie drops the F-bomb. Opie, it says uh, 6.05 a.m., fuck Opie frustrated at the mics. Well, they were really, really bassy. Yeah. And then they uh, changed mics after the first break, and then it was fine after that. Uh, 6.26 a.m. Quote, 
it splashed and sprayed all over the newspapers. Club Soda Kenny describing a guy in a diaper going to the bathroom on the studio floor. Uh, in the context of that, you, you just can't uh, describe it that uh, graphically. Yeah, the gang that were, was listening on uh, terrestrial radio didn't get to hear all this goodness. No. <laughs> a mere minutes later, 6.33 a.m., quote, something will be pouring out of him. Club Soda Kenny again after telling somebody on the street that the guy just finished taking a fleet enema and he's in a diaper. So after you say the fleet enema thing and then something will be pouring out of him, the whole thing together, it becomes bad. Uh, wow. Uh, only a couple of minutes later, 6.35 a.m., I dumped 18 times yesterday. <laughs> no filter Paul on the phone talking about his experience drinking a laxative and going to the bathroom in a diaper. And this was... Right after we told No Filter Paul, don't be stupid. Watch how you put this. Well, I'll say this for No Filter Paul's defense. As much as he is an ass, he doesn't uh, know the rules. Complete and total ass. I dumped. You, you'd think we'd be cleaning it up enough, so i, I got to give him a break there. Too descriptive. And don't. I, but he doesn't know that, and I'm not siding with him. Like Overall, he is garbage, but in that case, yeah. you got to give him the pass. Uh, 6.42 a.m., fucking hot. Caller on the phone describing his girlfriend. Could be true, could be false. Can't be on the air. <laughs> 708 AM. I found that on whackbag.com. Like we told you, uh, we're working on getting the website names on the show, right. being allowed to uh, do that. Lawyers are going over things and stuff. There are just certain things, that content that's on websites that can't be endorsed in certain ways. But, but believe me, we're working on it. We'll be able to do this in the near future, so uh, don't get all upset. Uh, whack bag, whack bag, whack bag. Whackbag.com. Whackbag.com. We love whack bag. Fullblownaids.com. Fullblownaids.com. Whackbag.com. There you go. And Eat join our MySpace com. account. Pal talk, pal talk, pal talk. MySpace. Open Anthony on Anthony MySpace. Anthony Kumia. Yeah. Robin Norton. Kelly. RobinKelly.com. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you gave it out because it's not a site. <laughs> it's RobinKellyLive.com. <laughs> Who got RobertKelly.com? I'm hopefully a fucking decent comic. <laughs> hopefully a comic not under 400 pounds. Yeah. <laughs> not a not a feral hog. <laughs> feral hog. <laughs> oh. A mere uh, few minutes later at 7-Eleven. Should be butchered. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> staring uh, into fucking space. Bob's feet are a delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it, the last dump there? Staring into fucking Look. space. Oh, Marion on the phone. That was Marion on the phone. I thought it was Bob at the Pamplona running of the bulls. <laughs> Yeah, look at Bob chasing everybody <laughs> <laughs> through the streets of Spain. 7.19 a.m. It's about fucking time. That is a caller trying to help Lady die. At 7.39 a.m., our own mess, Ben, because Patty's a fucking mess. That was his quote. Ben got dumped out of, I believe, Ben's first curse on the FM and first dump. Uh, 7.43 a.m., other shit. From stalker Patty, she said, other shit. And it's 8.09 a.m., Patty said, oh, shit. Uh, and those are your dumps for this day. For someone... May 4th. You know what? For someone who wants to be treated like a lady, she has a mouth <laughs> like a trucker whore. <laughs> Potty mouth, definitely. A mouth, you know what that mouth needs? Uh -oh. Big fat cock. Big fat one, Ant. Big fat cock. More girth than length. <laughs> Dominican, Dominican cock. <laughs> yeah, uncut, Unclipped. of course. <laughs> Unclipped, as they say. I think it's pretty pretty clean speaking, considering you have a mouth trap in them. You guys, let's go right to the phone. Uh, Marion's on the phone. Marion? Hi, how are you? Hi, Hi guys. Marion. What happened with Diana? Did she go to rehab, or did you ship her back to work? Well, Louisville? it turns out Bam drove her to the rehab center. She was going to, uh, they, they looked into it. They were going to take her put her on a seven-day rehab, and then uh, maybe continue after that for the 20-some-odd days that it takes to uh, get her life in order. For those seven days that she was in, she would have gotten cleaned up uh, off the booze. They would have cleaned her up physically, uh, some type yeah. of counseling, um, maybe get her life back on the road, find out why she's having these problems. A lot of solutions could have been uh, made. Uh, but she decided at the last minute, no, I'm not doing this. I have to blah, 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 blah lie, lie, bullshit, bullshit. And uh, she left, and now Bam didn't drive her back to the train station, just ditched her there. Uh, and now she's walking, which will take her In about city seven of hours. Living. Yonkers, New York. Hey, yeah. I, hey, guys, I want to thank you a lot for trying to help her because I don't, I don't want to see her dead. 
Well, Hello? we do. Marion, let's be honest. You really call that? Uh, they really put a lot of effort into that rehab. I it was an intervention. Wait. That was the meanest intervention I've ever heard. I wanted to start using drugs. Wait, Marion, let me ask you a question. Yeah, you're, you're, concer you're concerned with Diana. She might be listening. I gave up. Wait, wait, hush. Up Shut up for a second and let Jimmy okay, talk. For the love of Jesus. Right. If you could say um, anything to her right now to try to get her rescued, what would you say to her? She's my best. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Oh, brutal. Good. Uh, good. Let's go to Sally in Chicago. Sally. Hi. I'm concerned that I'm suffering from a fatal case of the virus. I can't even make a cup of tea without putting the tea bag into the water and sinking Thanks. something dirty now. Like tea bagging. <laughs> nice. Yes. See? And also, you can call that thing when you go to the graveyard. You could call it um, visiting your mom's box. Your mom's box, wow. which would be the coffin <laughs> that is under the tombstone. Can I just give you guys some advice about that Mother's Day idea? Uh, yes, Colin. I heard it this morning, and all I can think, and I only say this out of concern and love for you guys, yes. all I thought was St. Patrick's all over again. D does it seem like something yes. that might get us in that Don't big of trouble? It's it awful. really, really does. Yeah. Videotape wait, put on a website. Wait, Colin's actually, actually being serious? I'm worried about you guys. Don't worry about us. We got this under control. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> now I'm Famous worried. Famous last words. Now I'm worried when Opie says that. Uh, Famous last words. Ah, the idea's pretty good, though. <laughs> the idea's I'm just telling <laughs> <just, laughs> you. We'll give you it think to, there might be an outcry, some kind of problem that might make the papers. <laughs> we'll give it to Florentine for Meet the Creeps. How's yeah. that? That's yeah. a Meet the Creeps bit. Wow. Yeah. That will do, and he'll tape. And, uh, <laughs> Your mama. Is so dead. It's funny. And could you see mourners like just placing flowers <laughs> on mothers oh, and big fat Patrice uh, just standing there doing mama jokes? <laughs> Hysterical. I'd be arrested as a producer for the Opie and Anthony show. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, maybe. Uh, let's see if we can think that out a little before uh, All right. Sunday. Let's All go right. to Scott in Jersey. Scott. What's up, guys? Bear with me on this one for a second. It might oh. take a minute, but I, no, sorry. I just want to point out the FCC is so retarded. That they are protecting us from hearing about a guy dumping 18 times. But XM, on the other hand, has the poop goes the weasel where some dumb monkey groans and farts and shits 18 times. It's just uh, ironic. It's a climate of fear, my friend. It's the FCC has gotten uh, radio stations and companies whipped up in such a frenzy that they are overcompensating now. But the pendulum swings both ways. Believe me, you can tell right now because we're working on FM that the pendulum has slowly swung the other way. Before you know it, uh, I picture live sex acts with animals on FM radio. Ooh. I'm predicting that. I'm Ooh. like Kreskin. <laughs> yeah. You think chicken fucker? Maybe we'll play that? Oh, yeah. That's good chicken. You've heard that, right, Colin? What? The German chicken? chicken fucker? No. Oh, God. I love quizzing people on this. You tell me the exact moment the chicken gets fucked. Oh. He's holding the chicken for a while, and there's a woman there and a German man, and he's holding the chicken, and I guess they're romancing a little bit, and then at one point, he sticks it in the chicken. Now, you try to tell me, just by the sound, when this happens. Sadder and sadder every I time. I love I how hear the it. chicken just goes from muck, 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 muck to. Ah. Oh. He's just yeah. going. Ah, 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 ah. Help me! That's a chicken saying, please, oh God, why isn't wow. anyone helping me? That's unbelievable. Yeah. 
I yeah. love that in Germany. How does your dick not get hard? <laughs> it's a delicacy. <laughs> <laughs> now, doctor, uh, could uh, somebody get a chicken pregnant like a human? <laughs> like I don't think so. It's nah. physically impossible. You sure? Nah. Yeah, the... Um, well, you get pregnant reproductive, from a uh, Interspecies. Uh, reproductive chromosomes don't equal out. Interspecies. You need 23 and 23 to now make a 46. Get from a monkey. That makes a human. If you get 23, oh. and I believe a chicken has less than 23, uh, it doesn't add up mathematically, and you That's don't get a baby. That's even more impressive Excuse when you me. realize he went to fucking the old Saybrook, Saybrook <laughs> High School. Now listen. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> it really is impressive. The guy knows a little bit about everything. I know. <laughs> Oh, boy. Someone's bitching over here. Eric in New Jersey. Eric. Good morning. Two things. You guys weren't crapping out on XM. It was just looked like te technical difficulties. And uh, second thing, Opie, you cheaped out again. I saw, I saw Kenny walking in with a whole bunch of bills. You didn't give away all the money. I say the people that followed us ruined it. We had our own I was standing right outside the station in the Lexus. And I saw Kenny walking in with a whole bunch of money. In. Here's what happened. The that people that were away. following us, like some, some uh, uh, fans of the show, they were following, and they were picking up all the money. It was supposed to be share the wealth. Like, just all of a sudden, some guy is walking to work, and he sees a dollar bill flutter down in front of him and picks it up and feels a little good. He found a dollar. That's it. Not supposed to be the Get same five guys that are following us down the sidewalk picking up all the money. Our stupid Kenny interns. Should 50, Kenny should have walked okay. 50 feet in front of you. Then we couldn't have seen it and described it. Right. We, we can't give warning because the only reason those people were out in front this morning was to pick up the money. Well, our own right? guy was picking up money. Carrying a camera, picking it up. He, he was... Might, in my defense, I did hand it off to the guy with no teeth that was downstairs, okay? So I didn't keep it. Colin, former child star. One of our interns. He sounds like, what's his name? The Bronx cab driver. <laughs> you know what I mean? No. Oh, Big A? Big yeah, A. Yeah, he sounds like Big A. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't sound like Big A. I don't think what so. show are you on? Former child star? No. He really wasn't. He uh, just looks he like just, one. He has that look like... Doesn't he have that look yeah. like the grown-up child star that's having falling on some hard times and picking up dollar bills <laughs> off the sidewalk? As he's ch as supposed to be filming the whole, whole thing? Yeah. He allows older gentlemen to rub scented oils on his body in a bathtub. <laughs> <laughs> as he recites old dialogue from his yeah. TV show. <laughs> While they feed him Mom. <laughs> Scented bath salts. <laughs> Rub his young steamy body. <laughs> remember, remember the episode when you were in school and you got in trouble? I was always such a fan of your work. Thank you. <laughs> he's like Marky Mark in Boogie Nights when he's gonna let the guy blow. <laughs> uh, Ten dollars to blow me. Fifteen dollars if you blow me while I'm doing the lines. <laughs> so you were picking up uh, the well, time. It was either that or a car was going to run over him. Yeah, it didn't matter. The yeah, car runs him over. The the I, 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 I didn't keep it, though. I handed it off to like, that guy with no teeth out down says he needed more than I did. How about the fact that that oh. kid, the other kid was running with the Norton's Caroline's thing, and I was chasing him silently. He knew what I was going to do. Oh, I know. It would have been smashed. We ran. So that kid burnt me so badly. He <laughs> helped you out there, Jimmy. He's a good boy, but let's say I'm running fun. Colin. is not exactly a fucking athletic <laughs> feat. It's not, it's not like it's an Olympic sport. No. Right. <laughs> ben could outrun Colin carrying the Dillette machines. <laughs> <laughs> let's go to Nick the trucker. Nick. Hey, how you doing, guys? Hey, man. Hey. Uh, I just, I just want to tell you, you know how you could solve that problem. You could just throw the dollar bills out of the window at XM from the XM studios. That's what we'll do next mm. time. All right. Then all you have Good to worry idea. about is Jim running after it, trying to recoup some of the money he isn't making like you two guys. That's what we're going to do oh, next. That's oh, right, boy. sir. Good point. <laughs> You raise a good point, sir. All right, let's go to Toss Salad. Toss Salad, what's up? Hey, what's up? How you doing, guys? Hey. Hey, I have a question for Dr. Ian Smith there. I'm here. I am a, I'm a very large gentleman, and uh, I skimmed through your diet book there, and, I, and I'm a little concerned that that's almost too much of a uh, cut of food for me to take. Start losing weight, bro. How big are you? Uh, 5'25". Jesus. Nice. Oh, my goodness. So the next time you call, big. go, hello, Dr. Smith, I'm a fat embarrassment. Right. Yeah. 525? Right, Jimmy. How old yeah, are you? I am 29. Whoa. Jesus. How do you get yeah. to 525 wow. at 29, man? Well, uh, just eating a lot. 
All right, listen. I, yeah, I, I mean, uh, how else, you know? It's involves a lot of pizzas. <laughs> listen, listen, <laughs> Working shit, you know what I mean? Like, first... I'm, but I'm not active. That's, that, that's all, all you're listen, doing. Listen, listen. Stop shit. moving. Stop making excuses and listen. My yeah. Mm. You're 525. Right. Listen to somebody. Okay, right. the first phase of the diet, you can eat as much as you want on it. What are you talking okay. about you can't eat enough? Did, okay. Did you read? It said you can eat as many fruits and vegetables as you want. He ate yeah, Lady Di. He ate the pages. <laughs> lady Di. <laughs> no, man, I'm serious. Come on, you're 525. You're going to die. Yeah, I, I know that. I've finally come to that. How old right. were you at 18? It's quite a bedside manner you got there, doctor. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, come on. I'm kind of. You getting... might be the fucking doctor in Hotel Rwanda. <laughs> <laughs> the best part was that Hope just said, How old were you at 18? <laughs> oh, all right, I'll be more. I, I'll be more. What's your name? What's his name? Jeez. My name's Jason. Jason, I'll be more compassionate. Listen, Jason. Morning. It's a tough morning. Jason, I'll be more compassionate. Listen, just follow what the program says. Don't make excuses. You will drop. Tons of weight. Do you understand? Yes. All he's, right. like, he's like Gunnery Sergeant Smith. What's your name, fat body? <laughs> 525, fat body. <laughs> e send me an email. You got fat right, smash. <laughs> Go to fatsmashdiet.com and email me. Okay. Are All you right. about to call me an asshole? <laughs> <laughs> hey, while we're on the subject of diets, I want to say give a shout out to Chris Cooter from Kansas. I was in Kansas yesterday. This guy, I was listening to you guys on XM from Kansas driving around in nice. Wichita. So Chris Cooter from Kansas Computer Connections loaned me his XM. What do you call it? My Fi or something like that? Yes. Mm -hmm. He loaned it to me. And your biggest fan in all of Kansas, he's the morning air personality for 92.3 FM, Manny Kalzinski. Loves you guys. We were doing an interview. Must have said you about 100 times. Yeah, look at that. Real name, Craig. Huh? <laughs> Craig. Hey, what's up, guys? I know you're listening. No, I heard the biggest fan out there is the WBTK killer. <laughs> Which is just number one serial killer. You ever see that guy on TV? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. So that guy's 525 <laughs> pounds. Yeah, we got to work on him. Well, the doctor really let him have it. Hey, go to page. Uh, what page is the 1200 pound guy in? Well, and <laughs> who's that? It yeah, should have been on the front pounds. page it's of the paper. The, the fattest guy. Uh, on record. Wow, <laughs> 1200 yeah, pounds. That no, that's that. Musawi. Let me see that. Find that for him. He's having an intestinal transplant that. over in Italy. He's a he's a he twelve hundred pound pounds. twelve hundred pound Mexican. He's going to go to Italy to Ugh. have an intestinal transplant. All Mexicans should be that heavy. They'd never get through the border. Wait, what's yeah. an, inte no. an intestinal <laughs> transplant? What they're going to do is they're going to try to reduce the amount look, of time. Look, there he is. That fuck. Size matters. Nice. Two of them. Two of them. Nah, that's some Wait, you see the husband. Wait, you see the husband. On TV. What's this about? I don't, I don't know. know. It's on M MSNBC and it says size matters. Look matter. at that pet. Look what she weighs. Four six, 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 four six, six eighty. No. Even the scales at my own doctor's office don't go up high enough to weigh me. So therefore, I have to go out and buy a special scale that weighs up to five hundred pounds. Aww. She's not alone. The Centers for Disease Control reports sixty-one percent of American women are now yeah, overweight. Yeah, but she's like eighty percent. The number is even higher for men at seventy-one percent. Millions with special <laughs> needs. Websites like SupersizeWorld.com are filling them, Supersize. and sales are soaring. There's a lot of opportunity here for people to make money providing products for overweight people. people. Yeah. It's not a passing fad. It's a real trend. Even six feet under. Keith Davis used to be the only Big seller coffin. of oversized coffins. Now it. there are That's many. A good idea. The result, doctors say, of a nation coming to terms with its size. Look at the size I of that thing. I do think the attitudes are changing Holy in large shit. part you make because money by two thirds of us are overweight uh, or obese, and because yeah. people are getting so it looks large, like a they water don't bed. fit comfortably it's, into the. Let's go back to Cousy. Yeah. Everett you pop the top. Look at her. Look at it. Look at Miss. That looks like Bob Kelly in a wig. is recognizing one size doesn't fit all. Today, <laughs> I am a fat person. Dude! Today, I would like to be comfortably accommodated. Go oh, fuck yourself. Jack Kelly NBC News, Chicago. She's pissed that she can't just walk in anywhere and buy shit. She's right. Exactly. How do you she think we feel? Right. Uh, we can't walk into a barn and just eat. <laughs> Can you believe they're going to make all this money off these people rather than tell them to lose some weight and save their life? Yeah. They're going to make all this money selling them... I don't know. I, I like a, it. I got a problem with that philosophy. I don't. Just fucking make them buy two seats on the airplane, you fat skunk. You got to buy two. But End of won't. discussion. No. Southwest did. I love it. And they caught hell for it. No, but they were right. Yeah, they were. You fucking fat embarrassment. Oh, stop it. Good uh, point, people doctor. Have a problem. Exactly. We're trying to help them lose weight here. The O and A show is going to be known as 
trying to save America. Yeah. yeah. See? It certainly won't help you with that. anybody. Listen to me. I don't mind fat people. Our jobs. Jobs. I don't mind fat yeah. people. I've fucked a few fat girls once in a while. Well, you me too. One. Who hasn't? I once, I once fucked a fat girl in a hammock and we fell off and I almost broke my cock. <laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> this was years back. Years ago. <laughs> I just don't like when they want the rest of us to bend over. Oh, yeah, come on. That's the only problem the I have. The doctor is trying to help fat people, and you're sitting here. You, you criticize them; they want to eat more. I know how it is. I have a, I tend to have a weight problem myself. Do you? Yeah. That woman was delusional, like That's, Lady Die. She's got a she, good point. She, instead of losing weight and saving her life, wants the world to accommodate her right. fatness. Why not? Then it makes her look skinnier. Smack her in the head and go, "You're fat. Lose the weight, and then you'll fit into this world." That's right. Yeah. We're making effort. I had to quit drinking and doing drugs. Well, then you can quit fucking shoving uh, d devil dogs into your face whenever oh, you're frightened. Devil dogs are great. good. Uh, they they certainly are. My They're too is cakey, though. The uh, yeah, you're right. Yankee Doodles. Yankee Doodles are good. Sunny Doodles are good, too. Ah, Sunny nah. Doodles are for cocksuckers. I need the chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, why don't we take a break? Colin Quinn in studio playing Caroline's all weekend long. I'm getting the hell out of here. What's that? You're leaving. Where else you're going. You got Billy Connolly coming in. I don't want to stick around. Well, he's not here yet. All right, then I'll wait until Billy Connolly comes. Soon as he, Hi. Soon like my as he shows up, you can wait. Very good. Well, I'll stay as long as I need to. Ooh, that's Reagan. If yeah. you close your eyes, you think it was the real person. <laughs> Caroline's with Colin Quinn all weekend long. Okay. Thanks, uh, help. The number is I don't know. Two Somebody has to be mature around here. Seven five yeah. seven forty one hundred. Let's just give up on the death penalty. Yeah, if we're not going to use it, uh, you know, a little more generously. Why yeah. make us feel good like it might happen? You know, if uh, they're not going to do it. If, this, if, if anyone deserves the death penalty, it's this Masawi ass. I know. And I, I, I don't want to call him an ass, but that kind of language, I think, is... Uh, I think you're right. It's exactly well needed that. here. Yeah. And then uh, the New York Post. Hell can wait. <laughs> <clears throat> Ugh, they're the worst. I think people should stop even talking about this guy. Just like, make believe he doesn't exist. Masawi yeah, to rot in prison. Him, just, like he's we need to talk about him because it shows what America's all about. What, yeah. Why do <sighs> Why we're mercy? We're dummies. And that's what it is. It's mercy. We're a nation of... He's either afraid he'll become a martyr and there's going to be a backlash. Let him be a martyr. I'm just telling you, that's they're afraid. They're Let afraid him be of a martyr. martyr. I think, a is, I think this is a, a, a better punishment. No. I think, no. I do. Those 20 they don't hours rot in, in solitary confinement? But, the, but that's fine. This guy's come from uh, nothing. He's he's just an animal. He doesn't... But, but think, and now he's going to get uh, dinner. He's going to be able to work out. He's going to uh, be able to... Uh, work out. Yeah, he can. They work out. He, for that hour a day, he's allowed out. Walk outside. I think Jimmy's right. I think if you, you kill the guy, he becomes a martyr, and then all of a sudden you got, like, now all of a sudden he becomes this big deal, like, because he, uh, so, you know, he died for the cause. I don't no, know. No, but the whole, they, these guys don't care. You know what I mean? They don't respect us for doing that. They laugh at us. He I know. literally laughed. He There's laughed. people going, he's going, oh, look at you, you faggot country. Oh, I laugh at yeah, you, dead we, soldiers. And then you have this stupid Iranian, like, everybody is going, well, you know, I mean, it's not a war of religions. And Iranian guys say, I kill you Jews and Catholic. But it's like we're being so phony it's and It's all polite. about religion. Come on, let's just get it on. Look, who's that? Frontier Airlines may charge extra for overweight flights. Good. Hey, look at that. That's disgraceful. Brand new news story. Wow. Overweight. This weight thing is getting crazy. Yeah. I, 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 just, um, I just think they should have uh, put this guy to death. Oh, they should have tortured him. The, the, the family now has to sit there and, Nobody, and know that he's going to... But even there, they had all those 9-11 victims coming on and going, I hope he doesn't die. It perpetuates the... Me <laughs> and he's like, I'll kill you. you <laughs> yeah, give me a I can kill crack. you. It's so phony, man. Mm -hmm. We just live as if there's this higher ideology that I never that nobody should believe in, you know? No. Kill all these motherfuckers, man. Fuck well, that. you can think that way, but I happen to think there's a higher thing. Uh, uh, really? What is it? Well, the breathing uh, apparatus. <laughs> yeah, breathe right strip. You should have your own. You should have your own cult with that breathing strip. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, this is a good question for Doctor Ian Smith Cooper from Illinois. What's up? Hey, how are you guys doing today? What do you say, Coop? Uh, nothing much, but I got a quick question for Dr. Ian, if possible. Um, I've lost a little bit of weight here recently, but uh, I still have some fat, meaty tits, and I can't seem to get rid of them. Oh. And I'm just wondering if um, you had any suggestions as to how to actually try to get rid of my tits. Man yep. tits. How much, how much did you weigh before? How much do I weigh or did I weigh? Did you weigh when you started? Uh, about 230, I'd say. And how much have you lost? And, uh, 
I'm about down to 185. Whoa, and you still have them? Yeah. Yeah, you know what you got to do? You got to see a plastic surgeon. You probably have, like, male gynecomastia. Oh, the man tits. Man tits. Oh, Billy. Uh, well, because, uh, <laughs> there's no way to actually, I mean, you can't, you can't spot reduce when you lose weight. So you can't just reduce your chest. So you need to, you know. Oh, I mean, what's it called? It's up to you. Male gynecomastia. I think I have that. Let's say, Jerry. Let's see. You no, do not. I have gynecomastia. Get out of here. Let's see, Jimmy. He's a You're doctor. Liar. He's a doctor. Let's see. <laughs> well, thank you, doctor. All right, man. Go All check right. with a plastic surgeon. Good luck to you, sir. Not a bad deal. Thanks a lot, guys. I'm back. Uh, oh, uh, hey, hey, nothing. He's trying to make it. He's yeah, trying to no, no, have it. Get out of here. You don't even have a hint of a muscle you up have there. Nothing. Aren't you working out? You yeah, but do some press ups and that gets rid of it. I've been. I've been. I have. I don't do. I do very light things just to build a little bit of muscle down there. Light. You're starting to get a chest there a little bit. A little bit, not much. You're fine. You don't. Have he doesn't have what? What is it again? Male gynecomastia. Male gynecomastia. I don't want gynecomastia. There was a, a neighbor uh, next door to me when I used to live in East Islip, and uh, <laughs> the, the father. Sorry, funny, yeah, right? I know East Islip. <laughs> the father had that, and he had no problem going out and cutting the grass without his shirt on, and he had tits. They were real tits. No, it's called small, but male gynecomastia. Like uh, yeah. like meatloaf in uh, Fight Club. We should yes. ask Edward Norton if if meatloaf really had male gynecomastia. Gynecomastia. Uneducated and buffoon. President Bush <laughs> pronouncing gynecomastia. <laughs> Is it gynaca or gynacla? Gyna no L. No, I didn't think so. Gynecomastia. Gynecomastia. Gynecomastia would be silly. Yeah, we all know that. Well, no. gynecomastia. You're the only one that doesn't know that. know that. Anyway, back to the father. Well, yeah. yeah, and he used to uh, push the lawnmower around, and he had like, and they weren't even like big, full, nice ones. He had like these banana tits. <laughs> oh. That could be a good uh, look, though, too. He'd push it. Not, not, not on him. Did he have big areolas? It's a good look if you're uh, a woman. Yeah. That's a big word. I'll tell yeah, you, Patty's big. cleavage looked pretty good today. Me and Jim were noticing what she was oh. Right? Yeah, I wouldn't well, mind. She doing the, uh, <laughs> She's showing a little cleavage. I'd like to titty fuck her, but backwards, where you put your ass on her face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, that goodness. way. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> you look down at those hammer toes where you're fucking <laughs> plowing away. Talons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tim, what's up? Hey, Dr. Ian. Um, I got a question. I uh, Back in 99, I had the gastro bypass. I did really good. Got down, I was 700 pounds, got down to 180, um, did good for like five years. All of a sudden, the wife left me. I started drinking, started eating more, stretched my stomach out, and now I'm back up to 400 pounds again. Uh, I don't know if I should... Uh, before you guys smash me, I know I'm a fat, worthless piece of shit. <laughs> oh, come on. Uh, don't, don't say that. that. <laughs> come on, don't man. say that, dude, just because we're thinking it. I mean, I've got I've got a real nice girlfriend now, sweetheart. But I've noticed since I started putting on the weight again, it's getting less and less. Where I think she's finding me attractive. And hey, dude, do you go to you ever, you ever hear of Over Overeaters Anonymous? Did you ever like try taking care of the mental, like or or the spiritual side of it, and like not just the getting your stomach stapled? I try. Yeah, I went saw a psychiatrist for a year before, and like I said, I I don't know what to do. I, I'm right. just. I know I'm going to die if I don't lose the weight. Shame, 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 shame on you. Dude, yeah. I, first of all, you got to do whatever whatever the doctors say to do, but try o OA. You know, right. Not a psychiatrist, OA. Because Colin bashed me for OA. not being a compassionate doctor, I'm going to be compassionate here. Okay. I mean, uh, do you, I mean. Because you are a disgusting fat body, private pile! <laughs> like I said, I, I drive Chuck, and I, you know, and I just, what, your diet that you have, I haven't got the book yet because, fortunately, I live in a small town, and the only store we have is a big Walmart. They don't carry your book. But, but this is what I, t I told you guys. Email me. Go to fatsmashdiet.com. The top 75 people were giving away free books today. I, I, last time I came here, I got beat up because I brought four books. So now I bring 75 books, and you guys aren't emailing me. Fatsmashdiet.com. Sir, you said you're a truck driver. What do you haul yourself? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, some days that's how I feel. Like, yeah, you know, and, uh, like I said, you guys don't have to smash me. I already feel smashed. <laughs> All right, email me, okay? And if you're top 75, you get the book. Otherwise, it's only eight bucks on Amazon. My goodness. Now lean forward and choke yourself. Oh, it's not the price. I don't have a credit he's card. Hauling, but I'll, 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 he's hauling ping that. pong balls, and okay. he still can't get past the way stations. <laughs> Your ass right, looks Tim. like about 150 pounds of juice bubble gum. 
<laughs> okay, Doctor Ian, I'll uh, I'll get it on that Amazon dot com. It's eight bucks on Amazon. If you're top seventy five, to email me at fatsmashdiet dot com. <laughs> okay. I love watching you guys. You all have a good day. Now. You little right. scumbag! I got your name. I got your ass. Hey, good luck, man. Give my best to St. Peter. Are you little maggot? You make me want to vomit. Mm-hmm. How many Krispy Kremes is eight bucks, Doctor? Hmm. Let's go to Doug what? in Arkansas. Um, Doug. <laughs> Doug. Yeah. Let her rip. You're on the air. Yeah, Um. here's the thing. I wonder how come that Mosali character even gets a civil trial in the United States. He's not even a legal citizen. And then the people that want to give all the immigrants amnesty, that's what they're talking about. That's the type of person they're wanting to give amnesty to. What the fuck? Well, sir, what? In, what? in fairness, as much as I disagree with the position on the immigrants, I don't think that they're referring to uh, to uh, hijackers from 9-11. Yeah. As much as I dislike their uh, their completely left-wing ideology, i got to disagree with you on that. And I think that people from other countries do get fair trials here in the United States when... Uh... No, he doesn't. Not when he commit when he helped... Conspire to commit a so crime. So what? What is the, what is the, the Constitution? We believe in. What sir, does the Constitution say we're supposed to do then? Life. He has to get the trial. So what are we supposed to do with him? He was found guilty. Treat him as the he enemy combatant. This guy's right. Trial where they take you out when they find you guilty and cut your fucking head off. No, You're right, no, boy. No, no. This is America, right. man. What are you talking about? Holy cow. I agree with that kid. Now I see why Bush is in office. Come if, on, dude. I'm that kid's you, right. Well, he's not, Carl. He to follow the Islamic belief and the Islamic... Bu- Sharia law. Christian. He's right. If, we're not We're not in Islam. a trial by Americans with his belief that he chose to believe in, and when our fucking people, our jurors that are selected, find him guilty, we're fighting for his civil rights for two years. That's right. Before he even got a trial, before he even got a trial, we fought for his civil rights for two years. Yeah, but Doug, 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 okay, okay, okay. He didn't even want. You're wrong, sir. We, no, he's not. He's right. We should beat him to death with a Koran. No, sir. You don't understand. <laughs> Roe v. Wade changed everything. Because if you're not read your Miranda rights, that's totally a violation. That's why there's amendments. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. What an ass. Before he ever got a trial, lawyers fought for his civil rights. That's right. To make sure that he got a fair trial that he didn't even want. Thank goodness. He didn't even want. But, but sir, you got to admit one thing, though. Freedom of speech is an important an issue, and you can't yell fire in a crowded movie house. Shut movie up, Norton. House. I'm trying to talk more. Uh, I'm trying to talk Constitution with this guy. Shut up. You're making me sound silly. All right, Doug. Thank you. The guy's right. Thank you, guys. Bye, Doug. Get home safe. Hey, uh, Paul the trucker. Paul, what's up? <laughs> hey, Doctor Ian. Yo, what's up, uh, man? I can't get on the I can't get on the internet while I'm driving down the road. And all you give is your website. If you give me your email, I can email you from my phone and get one of your books. I can't give my email out like that. Yes, sir. See, the whole purpose of you guys going to the website is so that you can read through to understand what right. it is all about. Uh, yeah, go to the website. That's the purpose. Go to the website so you can read what it's about, and then you take the next step. That's this, the whole idea. This is Weasel in North Carolina. Weasel. Hey, I'm glad Masali got life because they're going to dom his ass once he goes to jail. Yeah, that never They're not. He's going to end up recruiting half of that place. That yeah. never happens either. I wish it was true. It's going to be a hero in there with all the Muslims exactly. in prison. Exactly. Hero. Uh, then the white Aryans will get his ass. Nah, they but don't. They're the right one. He's in confinement for 23 hours. He goes outside for one hour. He doesn't see anybody. Uh, this guy's not going to see anybody. So what? They got that priest. They got the molesting priest. He was in confinement for 23 hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All of a sudden, someone looks the other way. Sure. Who was looking? Do they? Kill, oh, they did kill him, right? Allah willing. Yeah. Allah willing. Uh, the top 10 greatest metal songs of all time. Did Black Sabbath make the list? They better have. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What is it? What is it again? Top 10 greatest metal songs of all time. They should all be uh, Sabbath. No. James Brown. According to Jimmy. No, there's other good metal songs in yeah. there. No. Oh. You gotta have a Zeppelin song in there. Probably. They're not really metal, but. Nah, Zeppelin's not no like Zeppelin. metal. They're not really metal. All how, right. How about James Brown? Yes. James Brown, yes. Please, uh, please, please. Let's see. All time metal? What's so the you gotta go Paranoid is number then. one. But then newer school. Paranoid? No. Yeah, you think? I don't know. Um, what's that song by you? You know, 
Dom Han, I mean, man, that Crazy Train cool. should be in there, but it won't be. Are there any 80s metal? Crazy, a lot of 80s. Yeah, okay. Metallica's got to right. be in there. It's just about uh, all 80s. Metallica, White Snake, any White Snake? No White Snake. No. <laughs> all <laughs> 80s except two from the 70s. Let me guess Sabbath. Metallica. Uh, Metallica, uh, hopefully they didn't put Enter Sandman, right? Please tell me they didn't do that. No. Okay. Uh, Four Horsemen, I would put. No. Pantera? Pantera? No Pantera. What Metallica song? I'm not saying. We're going to do a little list here. Primus? Okay. We're going to do a little thing. Primus? Heavy metal. Top ten oh. greatest metal songs of all time. Number ten. Uh, number ten. Motorhead. Oh. Ace of Lemon. Spades. Ace of Spades. That's wow. right. You're going to let us guess before you put the music up. Totally. All right, there you go. Number 10. Oh, 10 greatest metal songs of all time. Great is that. Mm. Number 9 has got to be Kingdom Come. <laughs> What's that? I remember that band. <laughs> what was their big hit? I can't remember I anymore. Remember. I played it on the radio back in uh, <laughs> Rochester. And King's X. King's X, sure. Number 9 is uh, an Aussie song. Uh, Paranoid. I'm, I'm going to guess Crazy Train. Anyone else? An Aussie song. Iron Man. Heavy metal. Actually, if someone guessed it, we should just stop there. Yes, Crazy Train in ninth place. Oh. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, Christ, have I had enough of that? that. This hey, one enough. Enough of that. Uh, how many friggin' times are you going to play it? Crazy. All oh, right, all right. Top New 10 York greatest classic rock. Shut up. Living is full. Oh. Top 10 Horrible. greatest metal songs of all song? time. Um... Who's calling? Who's calling? Is that Ozzy? Who's calling? I'm being called. Hello? Hello? I think I hear me. Someone's playing my show uh, through the phone. It's God. They're playing so this you think break. This shit is entertaining? All right. Time to change my cell phone. <laughs> I have no idea who's doing this. It's probably an accident, actually. Great. Who did this? Now story? I'm saying hello. Hello. This is great. It's a big loop. Maybe you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's true. Number eight is White Zombie. Uh, number eight is a Slayer song. Slayer. Uh, hello, I, I don't know Slayer at all, to be honest with you. Yeah, I mean, Any Slayer fans? No. 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 In uh, eighth place, Raining Blood from Slayer. Oh, for heaven's sakes. That kind of... Right there. In eighth place, uh, top ten greatest metal songs of all time. We got to go. Scorpions. Uh, Scorps. We got to go. Seven. Yeah, Rocky like a hurricane. We got to go to Patrick in Arkansas. Patrick? Hey, it's Patrick. Listen, please ban all calls from Arkansas. I just moved here about a year ago, and there's nothing good that anybody can contribute out of this state. <laughs> like, just like that jackass a couple minutes ago. Really? <laughs> well, you want to ban your you. state? Well, usually Alabama uh, disappoints us. <laughs> But no, no, no. I grew up in Jersey. Please just ban any calls from Arkansas. All right, sir. Thank you. Appreciate Yeah, Arkansas not doing a good job lately. Let's say hi to Heather in Jersey. Heather. Hi. How are you guys doing? Good. Hi, What's Heather. Up? I had a question for Dr. Ian. Um, phase one, I don't think I'm getting enough protein. Um, I've, I've been on the phase one for four days. Good. And I wanted to know what your opinion was on uh, veggie burgers. Uh, veggie and uh, protein supplements. Veggie burgers are fine. Number one, okay. Okay. They got to be completely meatless veggie burgers. Number two, you got protein from chickpeas. You got beans. You got tofu. All kinds of lentils. You got tons of protein. You don't eat that stuff. Well, I eat the beans, but I'm not a big fan of the tofu. But you uh, okay, <laughs> or lentil. But, but, but uh, do you have somebody to grab your ears? <laughs> <laughs> protein injection. <laughs> but as far as the supplements, in all honesty, you got to be careful with supplements. There's a lot of other stuff other than protein, depending on the type. There are a thousand brands out there. So I tell people, listen, if you're going to have some protein, make sure it's the right type, low calories, and doesn't have all the other gunk in there. Okay. okay. So you can eat meatless veggie burgers in phase one? Yes, meatless oh, veggie right. burgers. All right. Those are good, actually. Yeah. All right. So Let's... the next time you guys see Nurse Heather, I'll be a skinny hot bitch. Oh, I know oh, who you nurse. are from Pal Talk. Of course. Right, now, good luck, Heather. The girls, are, Thanks, guys. the girls are battling on Pal Talk this morning, yep. by the way. For, about what? They're just they're, they're all out flashing, out assing each other. Showing showing each other their asses. Are they fighting for my love? Um no. no but I mean. I want to date someone. All right. I'm lonely. Top ten greatest metal songs of all time, seventh place. Primus. <laughs> Primus. I'm gonna say um I'm gonna say London Choir Boys. Metallica. Uh Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden. All right. Uh, probably. 
their big hit. Run that's to the that. hills. Hurry up, I don't think hole. it's gonna be run to the hills. Yeah, run. To no, the I hills. don't think so. Uh, I'm hoping they go at running free. It's a better song, but they probably won't. How about the hills have eyes based on your look? Go ahead. What is it? Ooh. Ouch. Oh, that, that really hurt. Hurtful. That was kind of hurtful. We're supposed to be and having not fun. Not funny, here. but go ahead. Inappropriate, <laughs> unnecessary. It really was. <laughs> We're taking back one thing. of your Caroline's plugs now. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> that's what we do. Back on right. the Caroline plug. <laughs> Colin will not be at Caroline's this weekend. That's right, and you can't go there by calling 212-757-4100. You're not going to see him there. Uh, seventh place, Iron Maiden. Wait. The number oh, of the beast. the beast. I was going to say that. Oh. From 1982. Right. I lived alone. Dare you, Ian? Uh, nah, man, I'm from Connecticut. Man. I'm from Danbury, Connecticut. Did you man. listen to metal growing up? I listened to everything. I, you know, I was into, um, I don't know what you call it, but like Air Supply and Journey. And Gay. Like, <laughs> the police. I listen to those guys. But just say no homo, please. No homo. No homo. No homo. That, the, it's, um, it's okay then. May I heard Bruce Dickinson mention uh, the guys on his uh, radio show. Really? What did he say? I guess that you're back or something like that. I, I don't know the context. Ooh, I've interviewed him That's a nice. bunch over the years. And I also heard that that big bulge we used to see in those posters in the 80s was real. Someone I know pulled a train with him and says cock is huge. <laughs> pulled a train with him. Uh, hey, uh, let's go to Jim the trucker. <laughs> Jim, what's going on? Hey, uh, I was just wondering if we're going to be blessed with more of the E-Rock ne Radio Network today. Boy, did that not work out well. What Why was not? that? Oh, I thought I it worked out fine. I heard a bunch of I complaints. Thought, I thought it was great. I, I love hearing all the behind-the-scenes cut-down between the interns. It's uh, awesome. You know, we got to explain something because we're getting trashed on our fan sites. Uh, <laughs> a few people on the fan which, sites. It just amazes me. Uh, th this deal we made recently oh, is a great deal for everybody in the end when we figure it all out. Hold on. Guys, I'm leaving your boys in. Oh. I said number six is Glenn Danzig featuring Tia Carrera. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for having me on. It's been a pleasure. Right, Thank Colin. you, Mr. Right, Quinn. Colin. Take it easy. Jim, I'd say I'm sorry about the, that thing I did to your shit, but I'm really not, so it'd be a lie. You know? I'm just right, glad yeah. you're leaving for a more famous person. Thank you, Colin. We're better oh. dealing, Colin. All right, Thanks hold on. For taking my call, oh, fellas. I'm oh, hold on, hold on, man, Jim. Okay, okay. We're doing a few different things here. Colin, we'll see you at Caroline's this weekend. Oh, thanks. Uh, it's not, it's not all the listeners, and it's not all the people from Message Board. But you know what happens? Elo has been sending these emails because he's Elo, and uh, you know he gets complaints because people have his email address, and he forwards them to us, and it's fine. I read them. I take them for what they're worth. Sometimes they're valid. Sometimes they're not. And uh, last night he sent one that just set me off.